Everybody and welcome to the Moonstone Matriarchy, a girl power campaign with a bunch of strong, sexy women that kick ass and take names both inside and outside of the game. I'm Jessica, known as I Sneeze Stars um, on places like TikTok and Instagram, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign tonight. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to go through the games that we have on this channel and I'll let everyone introduce themselves. So Monday nights, we have the Iowan Adventures um, at 7.30 p.m. EST, a game DM'd by myself. Um, Tuesday nights, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign at 7.30 p.m. Uh, GM'd by Kate, uh, not Katie, um, Coddlesworth with Katie in it and myself. Um, and <clears> supposed to be night. me, but I miss it. <laughs> you can still join. Yeah, uh, we he he we talked about it. You can still join. He's got a place for you to jump in. We want you um, so good. You're so good. You're so good. We love you. And two Thursday Thursday nights we have the lost confident comp competent yeah like me um the lost oh. continent <laughs> um at eight p.m. EST DM'd by Mister Markham. Friday nights we have the Legends of Kralis, a TTRPG created and DM'd by Talarius Game Master, and. Obviously, tonight we have the Moonstone Matriarchy. Don't forget to follow us on our TikTok and YouTube. And um, let's see. Uh, Celeste, please save me. Um, I'm Star, uh, and uh, I am playing tonight. I'm playing Cappy, a Heron Gone Wild Magic Sorcerer. Um, you may know me as Star Mama C on TikTok. I also have a podcast called Characters Without Stories, where I talk to people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. Um, and I have a new episode that just came out last night. Um, and I'm going to pass it to DM Katie. Hi, I'm Dungeon Mrs. Katie. Um, as Jess said, uh, you can find me on Tuesdays here as well. Uh, Wednesdays on Shadow of Nox every other Wednesday. Um, and then occasionally, you know, random Thursday night D&D &D one shots. Who knows? Life is crazy. It is what it is. And then soon I'll be on a Buffy stream for like the week of Thanksgiving. It's going to be really exciting. It's all the things. I'm excited. Um, but tonight I play Rosalind Alara. She is a, an Aladrin. I never know what I'm playing from day to day. Um, and she has been missing for a few weeks, so, uh, I'm excited to get back into it. Well, she's hmm. been there. She, she has, has been. been I have been a not silently. Been. Yeah. I have been singing the last few weekends, so I'm excited to get so back into it. I try. Um, I'm going to pass it on over to Juniper. Hi, I'm Juniper. You might know me as Linen and Spice on TikTok. Tonight, I'm playing Clover, who is a tabaxi cleric. Uh, she's a tiny little house cat, um, little tortoiseshell cat with green eyes. And uh, I also play Alien the first Sunday of the month on over on Shattered Tabletop Games. And I'm also in a game of Shattered 
Dawn uh, called Naturally Shattered, which goes straight to YouTube. Um, yeah, that's me. I'm going to pass to Scarlett. Hello, I am Scarlett. Uh, I will be playing Sin tonight, the goth mommy warlock. And you can find me all over the internet at Scarlet64. Uh, I just ordered a brand new pack of dessert dragons that are all cookie themed. Uh, and you can pre-order those on my website, scarlet.com. Pass it is to that, you. No, oh, wait, Clover, wait, what? Right? No, wait, is that everyone? No, GM. Revan. GM? I was going to say Revan. GM yeah. of Revan. So wait. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is GM of Revan. You can call me in. Today, I am playing the hottest of the hot muscle mommies, except for the half orc muscle mommy who she may have a slight crush on. We don't know. And Nemini's kind of up in the air. She's very polyamorous in general, but she just doesn't know it yet um, because what is romance question mark uh and uh that is that is me uh you can catch me usually on tuesdays we're not playing until tuesday in two weeks from now um with chance of fate and i'm going to be starting up a new campaign called god wars using the god bound system which is like based off osr with four guys who are going to be playing gods in my world this is going to be it's going to be rough i'm, I'm going to be playing with four for gods. For male gods. And I get to play with hot women today. <laughs> so, I mean, that balances everything. <laughs> yeah, this is this is definitely a highlight of my week. Um, June, do you want to take it away? Oh, uh, the recap? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So... Uh, last time on the Moonstone Matriarchy, our intrepid heroes began their journey back to Tenebrosa, taking their first steps towards recovering the twice-stolen Moonstone again. Accompanied by goth mummy Lady Orion, half-orc muscle mummy Commander Diana, and Fleety, the mysterious and adorable Yulstus Lizard, the group retraces their steps towards the edge of Salandria. Travelling through the familiar Moonlight Glade, our heroes are devastated to discover that werewolves have killed their owlbear friend, Beef, and are tormenting his pregnant mate, Owly, as part of an overarching plot to attack Sin's hometown of Moon's Shadow. After dispatching the werewolves, Anemone conducts a truly unsettling ritual to ensure their eternal suffering, and the group beds down, ready to check on the Tree of Lunar Delights in the morning. That's where we find Beautiful. ourselves. Also, I love your voice. The way you say that is so like, it's like, it's so official. <laughs> it's like today on Moonstone Matriarchy. She's a newscaster. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, I'm my is. calling. Yep. There's what a, I what love would it. be Solandra's version of like their local news channel? Um. Oh, they call it the Solandria the okay. Sun. <laughs> they call it no no it's for like it's global they uh so mm. not global it's it's for the country it's um they call it the solstician and it's a it's a paper that comes out and um when there are a real when there are like real something really important everybody gets like a bird that turns into a scroll so they can oh, read wow. it immediately Aww. that's cool <laughs> there's this like tiktok voice changer that. that sounds just like juniper and it's i love it it's like my favorite. Oh, thing. really? Yeah. You can I don't know why. To me, I'm curious now. <laughs> oh, it's not quite Australian, but there's something about the 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 Maybe way the your tone voice sounds. Yeah, it's something about your voice that sounds just like this particular voice changer, and I'm I'm here for it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So during the night, you guys have you guys have headed to sleep, um, to rest and recuperate. Uh, Lady Orion had flown off to warn moon's shadow during the night she returns um from delivering your letter sin you hear her it took a a lot longer than you were expecting but she does come back and you hear her talking to um diana when she comes and she sits down around the fire with her and she goes there was a rune circle of sorts around the city. They 
no one can get in or out if they don't want them to. So they must know. Um, there was a guard at this gate. Uh, knew, knew who Sin was, took the letter, and that's that. They talk for a bit. Was this with an earshot? Yeah. Okay. Um, Sin will just kind of politely listen and then give a careful nod and then go back to her bedroll. I'm gonna see if she I'm gonna see if she catches that to see if she knew you were listening. Or were you there? Did you stay I up? I don't know. Oh, what was this when we were all sleeping? I mean Yes. I, so you guys have probably gone to sleep. I don't take sleep. I trance. So <laughs> So you were sitting with Diana then. Okay, okay. And she'll look at you and go, um his name was Aegis. I don't. Is that one of my NPCs? I need to get my NPC list. It's your, it's your sister's husband, the the father oh. of your. Okay, your okay, niece okay. That you saved. Okay, okay, okay. Aegis. Um, that's and what what was what did she just say about Aegis? That he was the one that was at the the front gate. Oh. He's a guard. You know that he is tasked with protection of Moonshadow and the library that's there. Okay. Yeah, well, if he's the one that took it, I can trust it to fall into the right hands. He told you to tell you that you are very much missed. Hmm. I miss them too. I want to go home. It's not far. Am I allowed to just go? <laughs> If you don't want to deal with any of the things that are happening, why not? I mean, aside from the fact we got a direct order from our queen, it would be don't get treason. Caught. She doesn't say anything after that, but there's a little smile that you see. Like, she doesn't really care about that at all. I can see why they locked you up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say that? I think I'm I'm if I say it but with a sarcastic like obviously I'm joking smile. You see her it's she takes it like it's she understands it's a joke but then there's a little bit there that like there's a little bit behind that that's like too too soon too soon. <laughs> um in the morning Let's see, what do I have here? In the morning, when you awake, everyone, you have apples by your bed, by your head. And except for Anemone, who does not have an apple. But if you, can you give me a perception check as you look around? All of us are just Anemone. Everyone has apples except Anemone. Okay. Who's, okay, okay. who's making the perception checks? Just an enemy? Just an anemone. Okay. Anemone got a really good roll on these new dice that I got from from, from Ice Knee Stars and, and Daniel. Ooh. Um, Daniel. 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 Those, dice are, those dice are deadly. Just uh, throwing that out there. They are. 17. Mm -hmm. You hear it before you see it. But it's a little, you hear like these little hummingbird wings going nuts and you hear oh it's it's so heavy though and then as you look up there is Fweety trying to come to you with a big apple oh no well, we, we, anem anemone for those of you particularly um by this point in time both clover and cappy already know that anemone cannot hide the fact that she actually loves sweet fluffy things like she she doesn't want to say that she does but half the time the reason why she's picking up clover and cappy is because they're so soft oh. um and i think the only two people who kind of understand that is clover and cappy and then you hearing Fweetie come in with a big huge apple in their hands she goes why uh, how she and nobody right away goes back to sleep snores but manages to like 
pretend snort in a way where her hand reaches so that it's just within reach of Fweety as he drops the apple. Oh. <laughs> and you feel you feel these cold little um, lizard paws kind of walk up you as you get a little lick of your cheek. It's okay, I know you're awake. <laughs> and then he flies <laughs> off back to uh, Cappy. Which, when you awake, you have a very thin layer of frost all over you and your apple. Anemone just shrugs it off and goes, Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I brings you breakfast because you're my favorite. Best at PC oh. ever. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We are totally adopting this, this NPC. Yeah, uh, uh, it's already done. Oh, it's no. That means they're going to die. Uh, no, Katie, oh. don't say that. Don't I'm say just that. Saying. I'm just Fweety saying. Fweety is I'm... very smart, <clears throat> okay? And when and that can go invisible, and don't worry about it. Oh, wait, no, I'm um, the one that kills NPCs that people fall in love with. Oh, well, then you're going to hate this. When you wake <laughs> up in the morning, you have a red will-o'-wisp hovering right over your nose, waiting Hi. for you to wake up. Hi, buddy. It... It kind of like dives into your nose and shakes a little. Hi. And you see it settle in your hair. It's okay. I'll make you a spot right here. It's right here. Right oh, here. it is in that spot in a second. It's not moving. <laughs> it's like a little a little hole of my braid can just stay put. Yeah. It is inside that spot and that's where it is staying. <laughs> that is perfect. I love Every that. now and then you hear like like um like bells, little tiny <sighs> bells from it almost. This makes my little Scottish heart so happy. <laughs> uh, when you look around, Lady Orion is off to, not the corner, but off to the side of the camp praying. And Diana is putting her armor on. What do you do? Uh, yeah, it's my turn. Hey, Sin, um, you wake. <laughs> You're muted. Oh shit! <laughs> yes, sister, I am awake. Great. Can can you hold my apple, please? And keep it cold. Uh, hold my oh. apple. Thanks. I gotta go do my warm ups and I gotta do my prayer thing. I'll be right back. If I'm gonna keep it cold, I think I'm just gonna like stick it in my, you know, boop. She you she knows it's now? gonna be fine. It's gonna be. I'm gonna keep it cold. So just... Yeah, Whatever. I'm a cold titty <clears throat> witch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going in the book. <laughs> I'm a cold titty witch. I'm gonna have to give you guys a, a, a channel. That sounds mm -hmm. yeah. Merch write write that in the yes, thing please. so you can write down your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> write down these yeah. quotes for me. It's canon. <laughs> Uh, just so we remember for later in the game, <laughs> I have a hand of fate, which is a, a minus a d8 on any of my rolls, uh, uh, my next roll for something. So Ooh. just remind me, I have it written down here. What do you guys do? <laughs> I suppose uh, an enemy is doing her warm ups. Mm -hmm. uh, if you. If you start your warm ups, uh, you see that eventually Diana will join in with you. Now, I'm gonna roll to see how well she's doing this morning. Hang on. Can, right, can so I she roll? Is... Can Can I roll to see if Anemone hides her deep admiration um, for this 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 amazing warrior woman? Just, Go for it. Just, just like it's a deception. And I mean, I don't mind rolling a disadvantage because <laughs> Nemanis too. You could roll a you could roll just a, dis a straight deception. Sweet. Okay, uh, Nemanis doing pretty well today. She rolled a twelve. You're doing good. <laughs> you um you managed to hide the fact that every time she corrects your posture or what you're doing, that you you're kind of just like, oh god, my heart's a flutter. Correcting you. Wow. Somebody is kinky. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Clover? Um, I well, my morning routine involves preparing my spells for the day, so I think I'm going to go and sit primly next to Lady Orion and just share the share the tranquil space with her as I silently pray and prepare my spells for the day. 
she's sitting back ramrod straight up in the air her hands on her knees uh there's a slight glow from her eyes as she you see her mouth moving as she's praying um um sitting crisscross applesauce beside you hmm. she clocks you wanna... but continues i don't want to disturb her so i'll just sit sit almost touching her but not quite and i'll just kind of sit and do my own thing as well my own meditations for the morning uh cappy what are you doing um so i think i wake up fleety's there um uh uh fleety i yes I really... my my beautiful princess with the beautiful hair of the fluffies <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> um I, I i really like uh having you around but um it gets a little cold uh, can you uh Maybe maybe tone down the frost a little bit. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I could, yeah, I could do that. I didn't realize you got so cold. It's okay. Thank you for the apple. You're welcome. Um, you're you well. It's really nice having you around. Um, he's crawled up you by this point and is rubbing his face into the side of your face. Um. Yeah, I am. Uh definitely um you know just kind of i guess reciprocating as best i can um and then i'm i'm gonna make breakfast for everyone and just kind of you know clear the camp and get ready for the day he he spends the whole time flying around after you um and talking to you and being like but i made you breakfast that brings you the apples oh the, the, and then the you, apples you the apple's great. I think I, I just, you know, I usually eat a little bit more in the morning and I don't know if everybody likes apples. And so there's all kinds of different rations we have. And I, I like to have a variety. Okay. Next time I'll bring you two things. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have, to, I can make you breakfast. You don't have to make all of us breakfast. Go make me breakfast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. And he does little prints. What do you like to eat? The picky. I'll give. Oh. I'll eat every anything you give me because it oh, comes no. from you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll, next time I'll make you breakfast. He looks incredibly proud and like, like yes, this is exactly where we want this relationship to be going. <laughs> He's decided that you're his favorite, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he follows you around, just kind of like you know. Anytime I walk around, my cats follow me everywhere. <laughs> um, Katie, what are you doing? So, no, I don't know who that is. Is uh, is somebody watching Wizard of Oz? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I can. <laughs> my, my, all I heard uh... was all I heard was uh, was was the Tin Man, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell them to turn it down. It's okay. Um, so. She so Roz's braid is is much longer than mine, um, and so what you see is like her long braid. She she has she's sort of like laying down on her stomach with her like her hands on her uh her her hands on her head her head on her hands chin on her hands, um, and she has her braid sort of like out in front of her, and the little spot where the will of the wisp is has decided that that's her spot is just right in front of her nose and they're just chatting <laughs> start the every day. time every time you say something and like leave a pause for them to respond they you get the little sound of bells i love it so much it's um, just a really nice way to start the day in the corner delphra is is feeding owly yeah and giving her scratches and trying to calm her. Um, after you guys have eaten and cleaned up, Diana's like, right, well, are we ready to go? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ugh, that was a good stretch. That was a good workout. Nice sparring with you. <laughs> Puts on her stuff. She's There's a flush on her face that may not be just from exercise. Hmm. you get you get a nod from her 
but that's that's it. That's she's not calling you out on it. Uh and you guys continue on the way to the tree of lunar delights. So, as what is the that forest, tree actually called? I mean, uh, it's called the <laughs> Moon Sages tree. No one knows. It's, no, <laughs> it's called the Moon Sages tree. <laughs> the tree of lunar delights is like a couple trees to the left, guys. Um, <laughs> as the lunar forest unfolds before you, bathed in ethereal glow, um. You embark on this journey to track these werewolves to their quote unquote hidden lair because they're not very bright. Um, the werewolves are me. like the rednecks of the. Yeah, they, they're not very bright. Uh, even though it is morning, there are still parts of this forest that are, you know, swathed in shadows and stuff. Uh, so we're going to need to make a few checks as you walk. Um, is there anything anyone is doing as you are traveling? We, we're we creeping up on some baddies, right? Like, this is a battle plan. That's the plan, but you still have, a, like, you still have to get through most of this day traveling. Oh, okay. Are they far ahead of us, or are we close? <clears throat> the werewolves? Mm-hmm. You're not entirely certain. You know that they're probably around the tree of Lunar Delights. So they're the already Sages there. Tree. We're trying to catch up to them. That's what the last thing you heard was the them, the other werewolves trying to bring the uh, bring Ali back as food. Um, survival checks. Uh, you know what? We're gonna. I have a bunch of different roles here. I'm going to have. I'm gonna see let's let's go with um who wants to do the survival check i only have a plus um, one i'm, I'm pretty see. good at that i've got a plus five all so, right yeah, over can... roll <clears throat> okay got a new a new die here which kind of looks like a moonstone so let's see could i, could I give them an advantage by helping yeah you're helping yeah oh, she's cool. always on your shoulders <laughs> That. Oh, that's an 11. Ah, uh, 11 plus 5, so 16. Ah, you passed. You just passed. Um, So Ooh. you stay on the right path and you are able to not get lost. They, again, with the, the way things have changed since you guys have come back, it's a little different. You feel like this is a little, this isn't the right way, but on the, at the same time, you're like, no, this is the way we came last time. You know? It, every everything looks different to you guys. Um, give me different how a perception check as well. Different uh, how. Um, so there are more shadows in this in this side of the uh, country than there should be. Um, like when you were walking into Tembrosa the first time or the Umberfell, it was it's dark, it's shadowy, and that's never been uh, Solstesia at all. I got a very bad perception roll, so same eight. And Nemini's inspecting a patch of dirt and going, "Is this where we did the worm?" Mm -hmm. No, that that was an umbra foul. No, sister, um, that was yes, that was in the swamps of sadness. No, that that was that that was an eight. You're still getting perception. help. Yeah. Oh, oh you both rolled. Okay, I, never I mind. Oh, um, so, oh, we're all you, you are on the right path. Eight. Okay. <sighs> in front of you, Kathy. Just in front of Anemone where she's about to set, you see a uh, a snare trap. What do you do? Anemone, stop! There's a trap right in front of you. Um, <laughs> Looks like somebody set a snare. Is it werewolf make? Uh, I don't roll know how me, I would know that. Roll me investigation. I just want to put up point out for, for comic relief as we we're doing this with the dirty 20 um, from Sin. Sin can see that Anemone has her foot right up in the air, has not left it, but she's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it is very crudely made. Uh, definitely um, 
not made by anyone that is out not anyone made from Salandria. You know that you've you've seen you're much you can buy better traps than this, man. Like this is very crudely made. As you're looking at the ties and where it's like put together, you see bits of like gray fur kind of like in sure pulled <clears throat> off and in there. I'm getting drunk already. Oh. Shit. Well, now we can start messing with our dungeon master. <laughs> I, I can barely speak. I don't know. You're not like. Wait, uh, wait. What? Hold on. Can we take a okay? So to is, get some. Anyway, sorry. So is this trap like a, a cartoonishly open bear trap with a single leaf, kind of like trying to cover it? <laughs> uh, and can I like take some very cartoony wire cutters to go in and <laughs> snip the mechanism? A hundred percent. It, wah, wah. it like snaps closed. Oh, I take it's, a stick. I'm just gonna like stick it with a stick. Yeah, it snaps closed, breaks the the stick in half, and it is no longer a threat to anything here. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna ask for as you continue through. It takes you a little bit longer than <clears throat> you thought it would. Um, another perception check. So I just got a 19. A 19. Okay. Um, Dye likes threes, apparently. So that's an eight. I got a 12. I got a 16. 16. All right. So you guys, you guys rolled very well. Um, as you're walking through this path, you come to a bit of a fork in the road. And... <laughs> Rosalind, out of the corner of her eye, I was going to call you Katie. Uh, Rosalind, out of the corner of her eye, catches that the ground has been disturbed, and warns you. Hey guys, not to uh, chill for just a second. Um, look at the ground ahead. S looks like something might have been buried there, or something along those lines. So um, maybe just be. Cautious. Did anyone bring their shovel? That might be a treasure chest. Right? Yeah, let me just pull it out of my ass. <laughs> um, yeah, you watch as Diana way. kind of goes up to it, tosses a rock on it, and it falls inwards okay. onto a pit of spikes. So not trap. buried, mm. but it's a trap. Gotcha. <sighs> Fair enough. And as with that 19 that you got, mm -hmm. you look to the right and you see a little bit of fur on a tree and realize that there is it's it's still that same gray fur that you found in the last trap you see that it's almost a smaller path that goes off to the right hmm. Hmm. what do you do well i mean so uh get there there's that path instead guys have this feeling we should probably go there right i mean no, I... they're setting traps along the main trail and that's the way we've been going yeah <clears throat> they're probably not setting traps behind themselves they're expecting us to follow that trail mm -hmm. i'm so going to hop go down off an emily's shoulder and use my sniffing sense um to like sniff the ground in both directions and see if i can determine uh, like confirm that we should be following the other path like people do you want to roll perception with advantage yes please mm -hmm. uh 19 nice dinks of werewolf down that path ew uh, they smell thanks fucking puppies i forget what do we know about we werewolves are they not common in this area no they're not they're it's not that they're not common it's that but you do know that this is a com like this has this is an affliction that can be cured. It's not like you don't have to stay a werewolf. It's something that like if you get bitten and you don't die, you can get fixed from, right? Okay. It's, it is a a curse that exists <sighs> in Salandria. Okay, or, but like solstice, like a little like pack of them hanging out and it's making a common. community is not common. No. Okay. Huh. <clears throat> do we do we know anything about cults or historically any any moon cults that are tied to werewolves? 
that would make sense that are tied to werewolves yeah Let's any see. any werewolf cults that would roll be... me history uh... mm, any money dice please don't fail me please don't fail me it's a blow for good luck oh i thank you for the blow it was a good job. <laughs> That's one. Wow. Hey now. <laughs> oh my uh, God, I am a disaster. Uh, 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 I mean, I, I want to join in the 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 party over there, but um, that 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 kiss for good luck gave an an eighteen plus one. So nice. Nineteen Nemony. on that history check. Well, there are not cults normally in this part of the. Uh, country where you come from where you come from you have heard of werewolf cults um there are even gods that they worship one of them being the lupin the lupin mm -hmm. which they call the great wolf hmm. huh. they how do believe that they are children of the moon um, and Nemini will relay all of that information to everyone he present, including um, Hot Orc Mommy and Goth Mommy. I don't even want to name them their names. They have just been Hot Orc Mommy and Goth Mommy in Anemone's fair. head um, through osmosis and because Sin keeps calling them that uh, under her breath once in a while. So uh, that's how she's, that. she's, just, she's, she's just getting it from osmosis. Um, goth mommy looks at you and is like, I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. common. They worship Lupin. Uh, I mean, my tribe didn't worship that sector, but other tribes in where I'm from, Terramosa, I mean, they do. I believe the Great Wolf is seem to be a better moon god than luna in their eyes and they have a problem with the moon children of luna mm. at least the ones in terramosa are we dealing with an evil deity an evil deity more neutral i'd say if they worship the great wolf, they care for themselves. They're not evil, but they do hunt. They have to survive, I'd say. It's not needless for them. Are they the kind of cult that would be looking to expand, or are they happy just doing their own thing? They grow. Not often, but if someone is injured on the full moon that way, they have, they have, I believe, rituals where people that are, I, okay, so you're not, I don't know if you like this, they do hunt. People caught on the full moon are added to the pack. There are also rituals that on the full moon surrounding surrounding tribes may bring their injured or disabled to them and they are given the bite where they become healthy and a werewolf and join hmm. the pack i'm just curious were there any did we lose anyone during the time that we found you like if that makes sense and she's gonna look to hot art m mommy diana and going like like did did anyone get lost during that time period when while we were away did anyone get caught or or was discovered missing or anything like that she shakes her head hmm. no afterwards though we've heard uh, we found bodies of citizens being torn apart elves mostly well, i'd hardly call that neutral 
No, that's a uh, perfectly loud and clear if you ask me. Yes, well, I would like to remind you that I have been out of society for about 700 years. I can yeah. only speak to what I knew. Well, we do know that these werewolves have a plan to attack my hometown. We can't let that happen. I care not what who they worship. I don't care about this Lupin. Um, I almost called him Lupus. Uh, He's a disease. No. Um, the army is so... Okay. Uh, I don't care who they worship. It's not my concern, but I do care that they plan on uh, committing violence against my hometown. There are children that live there. I think we should do something about it. She kind of side-eyes you, or I side-eyes you, just like, is that not what we're doing? I don't know. We just started opening a discussion about the morality of worshipping <laughs> Lupin uh, and you opened that part of the discussion, I believe. Yes. And I just wanted Why? to clarify. What, for what reason? Oh, it's Does it make you feel better if you're if you're killing people that worship an evil god? No, not at all. Like I said, I don't care what god they worship. How very un Luna like of you. She is Luna off. intolerant of other gods? Are we a religion where it's like it's illegal to be in any other religion? There are people that in Slandria that worship other gods. It is frowned upon. It is not illegal. Oh. I don't think Sin cares because she's not a proselytizer. Yeah. And when you are giving that opinion, you get the look from Orion that's like... How very unluna like of you. Sell it. And she walks off. Anemone is going to sidle up to Sin and hold out her hand like expecting her apple. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I kept it. It's extra frosty. It's even frostier than when you gave it to me. <laughs> she bites into it. It's nice and warm. It's juicy. She's like, best temperature. It was a little bit too cold for me. You know what? When you eat it, you hear those flapping wings and he looks very happy. <laughs> hmm, this is actually kind of sweet. Would make a good wine, like a frosty wine. Something you give consider. me give me um perception. Give me a perception check on that as you eat it. She's really good today. <laughs> This is hey. scaring me. 14. This is very scaring me. With a 14, it tastes like apples, yes, but it almost tastes like a cinnamon apple pie. That's the yeah. after that's the aftertaste that you that seems to hit you. Have you eaten one of these then? Is it just an apple or is it a special kind of apple? It has a nice little nutty cinnamony af aftertaste. It like tastes like apple pie. Oh, I'm gonna pull out the one that I have. It was. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna pull out the other one that I have. <laughs> wow. um, hey. I have stuff in my bra. Um, and I'm gonna just kind of like bite into it. That flavor washes over you, and the Ooh. after effect of it is that you feel a little warm and tingly for a moment after every bite. Warm and tingly, like, huh? Like kind of my mouth is falling asleep tingly or no like um like you just had a nice apple cider oh oh, oh along now with her apple in her mouth just like <laughs> does it have any uh, like Ooh. magical properties or is it just like a really tasty apple like uh give me an arcana check okay <laughs> As this is happening, Nemini is going to stand beside Sid and she like 20, hey. dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um, yes. They have been, they're regular apples that a spell has been cast on so that they taste better. Oh, just that's the spell is just that they taste better. Yeah. He's just, oh. it's, it's like a prestidigitation. They make you taste, it tastes how he wants them to taste for you. Mm -hmm. What a cutie. This is so good. I will never eat an apple 
the same way ever again. By the way, I don't really like her. <laughs> she bites into the apple. Like, I respect her, but I don't like her, you know? She's got, like, like you're, you're a cool goth. She is not. She's got issues. I am sensing the same thing. I must admit, I'm very curious, mostly because a doctrine around um, Nixaria is unheard of. But yeah, she seems to be up to something. Have you done a inside or that magicy thing where you kind of check them out to see how sus they are? I don't have that kind of magic. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's just called being a good. How would I phrase that? I'd, I'd like put my hand. Sister Anemone, that isn't magic. That's just being a good read on people. And according to my character sheet, um, I am not the great. I, I'm as average as it comes at reading people. You guys There's, are saying this. You guys are talking to each other, like whispering. Yeah. Not whispering, like a personal conversation. Doesn't work. Okay, hang on. I'm making two rules. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Anemone's making <laughs> quiet conversation. She's like, you know. I she gives me a bit of the heebie-jeebies, like she can enter my mind and she can hear every thought that I can he I can I can think. Oh, there are spells that can do that. Um, can, you, actually, as, can I do that? Um, uh, no, I can't. Um, you as you're that, talking, though? could I do that if with a little training? I suppose, yeah. Do you think Clover or Cappy or even Delphi could do that? Do you want to read her mind? It's no! a very simple spell, is all I'm going to say. As as a lizard kind of crawls up your the side of you, it goes. If you want to read her mind, I could help you. Or if you want to see what is, I don't know what you're looking for actually, but I can help. I will good at it. I'm pretty sure, but we don't want to. No, Anemone goes into protective mother mode and like. <laughs> We're we're not going to harm a child in the middle of the situation. No, we absolutely are Clover. not. You did a child. Clover, who's got her apple in her mouth, she goes. Oh, 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 oh. Spit. To be fair, she has been alone with nothing but her own thoughts for seven hundred years. Um, I mean, I'm happy to have a talk oh to my her gosh, as well. Will we? Yeah, that's so, a long time for mortals. If I were, if I had been alone for 700 years, I don't think I'd come out the same as I went in either. Mm. I feel like you'd be batshit crazy. The issue is we don't really know how she was before <laughs> she went in. So we have really no point of reference. She was um, locked up I mean, and they seem to be okay with that. While it seems insanely mm. unfair, there could have I been mean, reasons well, I can tell you this. Just by watching her, she's scared. Hmm. She's, she's. I don't scared know why, person. but she seems scared. And she can hear us. Look at the dungeon in her shoulders. She looks annoyed. And Nominee's gonna furiously bite her apple and then just like... <laughs> I'm allowed to have an opinion. Sorry. Oh. She looks Shit. back over her shoulder gonna... at you with this like this glare of like yeah. I'm gonna validate an enemy's opinion, and be like, she's a little antagonistic, isn't she? Nah, she's not <laughs> as bad as Maeve. Now nah, that one. Mm. I'm gonna trot over to Lady Orion and kind of um well kind of put put my paws up her and like is it like uppies kind of thing um you see that there's a moment where she looks down at you she thinks for a second you see it on her face like is she going to pick you up and then she bends down and picks you up and puts you over her shoulder like you would a child almost pet you get a little scritch on your back i i kind of rub her face and just just say in her ear gently Please, please forgive my sisters. It's been a rough time for all of us, and I think we're all scared. I... She nuzzles you a little bit and goes, 
It's just that it's rather open suddenly. I haven't had this much space in a very long time. Is it, but it's fine. Is it all a bit overwhelming? A little. But, again, I will survive. I'm here any time if you want to talk. You get a scritch at the unknown of your cheeks, and she goes, you are a sweet little thing. You know that really makes us, makes you our resident therapy cat? Yeah. Yeah, that is her pretty role. much, doesn't Basically it? Basically <laughs> what you are, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's like... <A> therapy cat. <laughs> scritches. Scritches help so much all the time. Um, finally, as you guys have been walking and talking... You make it to the Moon Sage's tree. Hashtag the tree of lunar delights. <laughs> Delphra already starts taking her clothes off. Yeah, Delphra <laughs> has started to unbutton her top. Um, for the last 30 to 50 years, a gigantic silver bark tree with soft, velvety gray leaves used to be the only way out of Umbrafell. The country in which Tembrosa re resides. So that was until about two weeks ago when a bunch of belligerent women decided that they were in fact not going to fight the cursed prince, but cure him and break his curse instead. Who could that be? Who could that be? I just never imagined never. I am not belligerent. <laughs> we are completely within our faculties. Thank you very much. Anemone... It seems like belligerent would have been attacking, not. Anemone is not going to deny that. One of you walked in there, pulled out a tit. The other I one walked in there. I, I can't imagine, but we're she's lovers, seen... not fighters. That's true. You know, one I of can't them imagine in there was like, that. I'm going to kill him. The other one walked in there and was like, I'm going to She doesn't like that one's tit. I'm going to kill him. Um, <laughs> so, like. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't imagine who might do that, but uh, she, she seems real cool. Um, you made an impression. <laughs> I'll say this: you've made an impression. I should have mm -hmm. better. Uh, um, and give me a perception check. Naive little right. therapy cat walked in and went, "I can <laughs> fix you." Yeah, uh, yeah, and you gave him a friend for like the first time in his entire life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, that's really well, that's sad. his fault, not ours. So, <laughs> are we all doing perception checks? Anyone you want. Okay. I got an 11. 11. A dirty 20. Dirty 20. Okay. Oh. That would Eight be... again. What is with this die and threes? My God. So, uh, so what's been happening? One. So what's happening? Because I think I've got the lowest roll with a <clears throat> with a with an eight here. Is Anemone is kind of looking over at Clover and thinking about, deeply thinking about what has just spoken and transpired between her and how sus this Lady Diana is, and plus the apple and things. And she she's she's also reminiscing all of a sudden because she got triggered by something that Sin said. That Sin didn't know about when she, we were talking about said woman, about Maeve, and the moment um, Anemone say, said that name, she, she went into, like, deep, resting bitch face. So. Beside you, Anemone transforms in, into a, a face that she doesn't often wear, but you see this look of... Oh, at first, it's remorse. And then it's anger. Mm. And then it's one day, a promise of revenge. Beside you. But with your dirty 20, you see up ahead of you a pack of werewolves mill about the area. A bloodied female drow lay at the roots of the tree. No, absolutely. Surrounded no. by <clears throat> werewolves. No, uh, I want to kill them all. Wow. Her long white hair splotched with scarlet. She seems to be unconscious. 
she's not no, dead, that's though. our girl. That's no, our girl. We're, we're that's taking the girl, her back. Right? We're taking her back. Like that, that's our girl. Her, brought us I, there. We're immediately taking her back. Period. Well, how and, above and her? How... I'm gonna shoot some shoot some puppies. <laughs> Let's tell you see what's, what's going, going on. on. <laughs> <laughs> this is your fucking payback for Thursday, bitch. Above <laughs> her. You fucking got me for like ten games almost with this nonsense. I give it to you for fucking three hours, and you're like, "This is your payback." Bitch. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. I am the perfect player that has never caused any chaos, and even though the I am can... not the problem. Period. I Ever. do not try and murder Stop. people immediately. Um, above her hovers the <clears throat> remnants of what seem to be the Moros. He's barely a wisp anymore. <gasps> trying, and he seems to be trying to protect her. He just doesn't have the ability. Oh but yeah, no, do. no, no. That's our girl. That's our girl. Yeah. That's the girl who brought us. You are correct. Kept us Aria. Can I? This I'm is, not uh, even going to no. make you roll a check for it. You guys no, know that that is Aria on the floor. Yeah, we're gonna shoot. I, I want to shoot a puppy. Whoa, we're gonna. We're, well, hold on, sister. You are going to shoot from a. Uh, undisclosed location so that you can sneak attack yeah Am I... I know i know let's, i don't know we're let's, coming i okay let's, okay let's okay, get in okay, position okay i will let's let you sneak position. attack listen to what you hear okay <laughs> what you see oh okay. god i hit the mic i hit the mic um you hear from a werewolf standing upright with a long stick that sort of looks like a shaman's staff um covered in runes crudely made with gems at the top of it so it's in, like it's encrusted with these gems that almost have a bit of blood kind of coming off of them as well like he may have stolen them off of people's bodies um and he says the moon elves false moon children pretending to be of luna's light but they are dark dark they wear masks of beauty we we are luna's children we are bound to the lunar cycle we are the children of the full moon and we will not walk in the dark any longer and all of the werewolves around him scream and there are about 15 werewolves milling about this gigantic tree fine all right along with Along with a dire wolf, a couple regular wolves, a, another dire wolf we see off in the quarter, and Lady Diana, or sorry, Lady Orion and Diana, look at you. I go. So we're going to attack, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there, there's just no question right now. All right. So, First if you of go all, to, they think we're pretty. <laughs> they think we're pretty. Um, <laughs> you hear Moon's Shadow will fall. Hey. And let, I'm going to let you arrange yourselves on the map from where you want to attack from. Oh, I suppose okay. I should open up <clears throat> roll 20. I probably should. Yeah. And then um, after I get on the map, I need to use the ladies' room. Yes. And here's what's ha here's what happens in this moment. You see Lady Orion look at Diana and go, I can scatter most of them. Diana goes, I can go left, you can go right. Just like before. And you see Lady Orion, her eyes glow just slightly. And you watch as 15 of these werewolves just get flung backwards out of nowhere they start flying through the trees you hear crack 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 as they fall as they fly through bushes and trees and all of these things into back into the forest in all directions mainly off to the left and off to the right and diana looks at you guys and she goes you get what's left wait is there any left i thought you said there was 15 of them there are 15 main like they're they're like kind of just around the tree then what's left over like not all of them get taken the, what's left over for you guys to fight is the shaman uh two wolves and two dire wolves okay so all of the werewolves Where? are gone oh whereabouts <clears throat> is aria and the remnants of the moros so you see uh do you see the moros here on the tree on the map 
I no. no no where I'm clicking. No, okay. no there's so nothing in that on, space. No. So he's barely there, but he's that's this is where they are on the floor. Okay. okay. All right. Um, and we will take our five minute break and come back, and I will get more wine to be drunker. I'm gonna get. Sweet. Some I'm actually gonna get something to drink because we have oh, that so now. I'll be right back. Daniel? I'll be right back. Daniel. 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 Hi everybody, we're back from our break where we had some very interesting discussions. Um, hey, I it's still an interesting discussion. Yeah, um, I think so too. I'm going to have you all roll initiative and then I will let you get a surprise round on them because you yes. are attacking from the bushes out of nowhere while they're having their big like fuck the moon elves speech. Um, okay. Oh, I thought they were saying that to us. I was like, shit. There goes no, no, no. They don't know you're there yet. You guys haven't come out of the bushes. Mm, awesome. So, so, so I got see. a 17 on my physical dice. I don't know how to make that go into. Do you have your, uh, your sheet open? I have roll 20 up. Yeah. I, okay. I, so you need, you probably need your D and totally beyond do as well. That's fine. I can do that. That's not a problem. So I do, I haven't entered any of your character sheets unless you guys, okay. you guys can do that. No, it's okay. 12 is fine. 12. That's Wait, you rolled a 17 sheet. on the dice, didn't you? On my on my physical dice, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now add your oh. initiative modifier. So in your sheet, right next to your AC is an initiative right. uh, so number. It was 17 with my modifier on my physical dice. And then so because I could oh, then you're fine. put that into... With your rolled... modifier, then you're fine. So you, okay. you rolled a 17. Okay. But then I rolled down and did on the, the thing... So that you could have you it don't have thing. to roll on D and D oh. Beyond. Okay. I never mind. At all. Okay. So uh, seven, uh, seventeen. Perfect. What's Delphra's Daniel? Shh. Oof. Um Clover. Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh Cappy. Eight. Ooh, we doing well. Uh Anemone. Well, she's 21. gone. 21. 21. Okay. Uh, and Sin. 18. 18. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start this. So what you are fighting, and this is what's in the encounter. I'm just very drunk and bad at explaining it right now, um, is a werewolf shaman, a dire werewolf, a wolf, a werewolf, and a another dire werewolf. Okay. So, mm -hmm. anemone, anemone's not here. We'll go after. She'll go after. Wolves, right? Yes. Oh, anemone, make your attack. Your sneak attack. Anemone is going to, first of all, <clears throat> take her void strike blade. She's going to punt it at someone. She'll use it like a javelin and just throw it at someone. Um, do you want me to use that God as damn versatile? It, yeah. Go ahead. Do you want, do, do yep. want me to? Uh, can I use it as a versatile? Yeah. Or should I just, do it just, as just one do one? it? You know what? Just do it as your regular vo void strike. Just throw your blade. It's okay. fine. You're Spartacus. That's how you fight. She's gonna aim for the shaman because she figures that they are the bigger threat. Yeah. Fuck the guy. Okay. Ooh, thank you, dice. That is fourteen on the dice plus four. 18. 18. Okay. <coughs> Does that hit you? Did I just okay, I didn't cool. It his yes, it just hit. Yeah, Perfect. yes, it's Perfect. Um if she's just throwing it, she'll just use the versatile. Now is this a creature of darkness? Is this a creature of darkness? Let's see what I've given him to his spell slots or to his thing. No, it is not a creature of darkness. Okay. It down. I'm not going to tell you that. Damn. Okay. Well, she will roll the the slashing damage for one d10. So she just flick it to try to get him, and she'll pick it up when she goes close to him. So you take your sword and you just whip it at him, and you hit him directly in one of his shoulders, and suddenly, out of nowhere, he just goes, Ugh! and the looking around, his pack has scattered. In the distance, you hear howling and noises of a battle 
Anemone's Anemone does eight points of slashing damage. Um, I rolled versatile, so it would be a one d ten plus t- plus <laughs> plus stuff. So plus two. Um, and she's gonna growl right at him as well. Um, and her sneaker around, and she'll go. You're not the only one with the pack. Yeah. Okay, Sin, you're next. Okay. Um, I am going to draw my long bow, and it's gonna start lighting up all moon-like and um she's going to draw it and an arrow of made of like silvery blue moonlight is going to like appear in it and she's going to point it at the shaman but before she fires she is going to cast her hex blades curse on it um which is gonna make it uh i get it i'm gonna get bonus damage and stuff um and then she's gonna fire her arrow nice so let me roll that uh actions boop a 25 (gasps) love that for us 25 to hit or 25 damage to hit to hit 25 you hit yeah i am so i'm so sorry you're good. As she uh, says, drinking more wine. <laughs> I do 10 damage. Oh, wait a second. Damage. Very nice. Wait a second. Did hold on. Let me, hold hold, on, yes, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. I just remembered something. Um, What did I? What actual? Because I, I crit on a 19 and a 20, and I'm trying to see what I actually rolled. Uh, Did I roll a 19? What do you add yeah. to hit? Just minus Yeah, you that. did. I did I roll a 19. Roll That's so you crit. crit. That's amazing. Woo-hoo. Double okay. that dice. Okay, so um, I'm going to roll an additional 1d8. So and it's the hex be... damage if you have any. Right, so uh, with the hex damage, that is going to be a total of 16. Hmm. Sin is a damage dealer for this group. You watch as you hit him square in the chest, you know, aiming for center mass, and he growls, uh, falls to a knee for a second, not quite able to attack you yet. Rosalind. So uh, she is going to also use her longbow. In this particular case, it is, oh, someone gave me a bark and spell. Oh, shit. I just lost my, ch- my die. I'm not even drinking. Um. <laughs> okay. So... She's she has a bishop longbow. She's going to try to shoot a stupid, stupid puppy douchebag um in the face. Which should hit because that's 19 plus my four. Oh, that hits. Yeah, 100 percent Yeah. Okay, so I actually don't know how to deal so with that's how, to, a... how to roll damage. Is that a crit on me? Do I have a, do I have a crit on, on that? I don't think on. I do. i I'm a rogue. Let me, I don't think let me see crit assassin. On let me see your assassin's thing. You have an assassin's thing that says if you if oh. look through your stuff, okay. uh, there should be something about if you go first or if a cat a creature hasn't gone. It's in your um shit. Uh description, maybe. Okay. Do 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 um <gasps> Yep, he is surprised. Amazing. That's amazing. Nice. Yes. Okay. So as far as my damage is concerned, to be completely honest, I've never rolled physical dice ever as mm-hmm. a rogue. So I don't know how this works. Um, but I do know that for my long bow. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm dropping everything. My God. Um, this is why I don't do actual dice. Uh so it's one D eight plus two, and then I double that. Yep, you do that twice. Well, love that for me. But it's still just plus two. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then what's sneak attack for me? Uh, do you have, I think it might be two or three D6. It should say on your sheet as well where your attack is. It's two. two? D6? Yeah, okay. So two. Two D6. Right. So you're rolling four. That's a D10. Do, 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 do. That's 12. Goodness gracious. There we go. Okay. Um, D plus two. Me doing this by memory right now is a disaster. I'm like I play rogues, I can do this. You have a thing. Wait, hang on. You have you have a thing. You're doing fine. <laughs> yeah. 
don't be so um, I do, I do, I do rogues, uh, mm -hmm. but always digitally. So, um, okay. So that was nine and then 2d6, you said? 4d6. 4d6. Love that for me. I'm just going to roll my shadow run dice. Yeah. Four. Okay. Ah. Oh, that's nice. Um, 11, 12, 15, 14, 14. I can do math. All so together? 14 pl plus nine? Yeah. 20, 23? Yeah. So he gets 23 points of damage. What does it look like when you do that and bring him down to half health? <clears throat> okay, so I am going to take aim with my vicious longbow and... Uh, it's going to go straight through one of his eyeballs. And I just want it to like go straight through and out the other side. You, <laughs> I don't know if it goes straight through because that would kill him. Uh, but like it, it angles down a bit and it like goes straight through and out the other side. You hear this growl as he on his knee is like barely holding on. Suddenly out of nowhere, all of these arrows and hit and like attacks have started hitting him. Um, <clears throat> have we all, have all the surprisingness people gone? Not yet. Okay. Happy and then Clover and then definitely Delphra. wants to be like, not loud enough that he would then be able to hear where we're coming from, but definitely be like, who's the real, who's the real moon children now, bitch. Mm -hmm. As you come out, you say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, happy. Uh, yeah. So, um, I am going to seeing my friend Aria and my friend the Moros suffering um, run from the tree line. And as I come close, take a mighty hop landing directly on Aria, protecting her. And then with a boost burst of radiant energy, I am going to use my lunar power and... Um, and shoot this radiant energy that will try to push everybody in a 30 foot radius around me um, back. So they need to make a strength saving throw. And oh, the okay. DC is so, 13. So what's nice. the radius here? Who's going to get hit? I think 30, everyone, everyone, everyone gets it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and but not the people that you care about, right? Not, no, it's, it's enemies, okay. hostile creatures. So strength oh. saving throw. Let's see. He, he rolls. Shaman rolls an eight. He's going to go flying. Uh, a 14 for the dire wolf. Is that okay. good or no? Yeah, saves. That's fine. The dire wolf saves. Uh, the wolf gets a six. So you hear what? as the wolf goes flying. Um, a five for the werewolf. He goes flying as well. And the last dire werewolf go gets a 23. So these dire werewolves just power through this like it's nothing. Um, and I'm going to move. How far do they go? So they are pushed back 10 feet and they're also knocked prone. Right. All of them, mm -hmm. regardless of whether they make the save, are also going to take nine points of damage. Okay. Five, 10, prone, prone. Okay. And then this one, five, 10. Let me just make a note for myself that these guys are all prone because I will mess it up. Prone. You are prone. I didn't realize that the bardic came from Isabeth's. Thank you. I love her. Prone. Okay. So you have three that are prone. Everyone takes nine damage, you said? Uh-huh. Okay. Nine damage. You hear a bunch of growling as these... Oh, man. <clears throat> as all of these wolves are prone or damaged. Um... Damn, you almost killed the wolf. That wolf is is howling for its life right now. As it should. As it should. <laughs> um, Clover, is that your turn? Are you finished? That is my turn, yes. In your ear, before Clover goes, you hear, Wow, you're so strong. And then um, from the morals, you hear, Thank you. Um... Cappy, or not Cappy, Clover. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run 30 feet or scamper 30 feet, if you like, to go just next to Cappy over here, right next to Aria. 
I'm going to pump a second level cure wounds into Aria um, for 14 hit points to Aria. She wakes up um, with a and looks around, ooh, completely God. panicked. But the no- the Moros is kneeling beside her and Ed saying, "Don't worry, you're safe. They're going to help you." Um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna quickly whisper to the Moros, "I'm gonna heal you next, next." Um, and he, then um, he looks at you and he goes, "Don't waste your spells. You cannot yeah. fix this." It's something that he'll oh. tell you afterwards. Um, big sad eyes at him, and then with a bit of rage, I'm going to turn around, cast um, spiritual weapon right next to the closest one, who I believe is still the shaman here, the green, the one with the green dot. Nice. Is he is he prone or is he still? He's up? prone. That is with advantage. Okay. Beautiful. Um. Okay. Spiritual weapon. 15 plus something to hit 15 plus where the fuck is it sorry 15 plus six so 21 to hit uh yeah that hits um for uh six plus three nine nine radiant damage nine radiant damage very well done yeah. he is not looking great at all um is that your turn? Yep, that's it. Delphra. Hang on. Ah. Okay. The wolf. 16 for the wolf. 16. Wolf jumps out of the way. Uh, Your werewolf friend here. Let's see here. He gets a 14. Eight damage. The wolf jumps and tries to roll out of the way, but you still singe its fur and it collapses, no longer breathing. It is dead uh, and out of the way. Let's get rid of that. Um, the um, She always has her little fox, so you can do it. Okay. God damn this fucking wig. <laughs> Perfect. Little wolf, bro. Love him. Your little your little mm. fox bro. You mean he comes out of the he comes out of the, the forest. He hops out and you hear oh like <laughs> like well, like foxes do um uh yeah burning it's rolling on the ground that is your surprise round anemone anemone is going to move my guys um how badly injured is our shaman he is not doing oh, well he-, he is bloodied Oh, good. He's going to die next. Um, no I mercy. I he'll die no. next, like the next hit, but soon. Very soon. And, uh, Anemone's, well, we'll see. Anemone's going to take her full movement, look at the guy and says, and say, pitiful. And she's going to attack him. Looking up at these long legs, you can barely see your face. Pitiful. That's what he hears. 
Um, I'm going to use, uh, uh, um, um, can, can I use action search? Yeah, you can. You rip your sword out of him and you just wail on him. What do you uh, do? No. Uh, well, the, the sword slashed into him. She just picked it up from the ground on her way over to him because <laughs> it bounced off of him. Um, and you make two attacks, yes? Yes. So I will just use my action search. I should really rage onto this but this is this is gonna be this is gonna be the thing oh which dice okay 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 please please i need to kill a guy thank you for letting me kill a guy um uh 19 plus 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 four you hit so you run up to this guy you rip your sword out of him do you you take is that both of your attacks yeah just one yeah I, i rolled a five plus four we're not going to talk so about that. You you rip it out of him. You go to swipe and he kind of blocks you with his forearm, kind of yeah. did you, moving you off just a little bit. But you come back with a giant slash hitting him across the chest for yeah. how much damage? Not yet. Hold on. Sorry, Cappy. Did you roll with advantage? No. Because he's prone. Yeah. Okay. So you can so roll no. both with advantage. So one hits. One hits. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, I need to really, I want to, I want to get rid of him. I want to end this man's life. I, then second one was a 14. 14. Let's see. Let me look at this. Where is he? 14 hits. Now you know his armor class. Beauty, beauty, beauty. So this is double handed making it versatile because I want the D10. Okay. Um, just, just because Anemone's pissed. Um, first attack is going to, be a three points of slashing okay listen guys we 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 remember how i want blood um oh shit and the second one is three plus two is five and it's this is with the void strike blade it, did you pour the silver on your blade i believe so i thought there was talks about that in the last one but i don't think okay. we did do you want to say you did it that night we could I am not going to hold it against you. Then yes. So you do the whole point, the whole what nine points of damage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I should. I should have been having a lot of yeah. these, but it's fine. He, you Some guys, just destroyed him. It is Perfect. his turn, however, now, and he's going to look up at these big long legs. Follow him all the way up to Anemone's face. He looks at you, and he casts light i'm going to need that mean? you see his <clears throat> stone his the stones and his staff begin to glow and you begin to feel this necrotic energy over overwhelm you um i need a constitution saving throw from who from anemone from um, anemone mm. and he know. a dc of 14 Uh-uh. I don't like that look at all. Anemone will feel, for the first time in her life, physically weak um, as magic overtakes her and her eye twinges in reaction to what is being placed upon her as if it's a curse reacting to another curse. You begin to wither. Your skin begins to wither. And in... And turn black as you almost begin to mummify in front of everyone's eyes as you take 35 points of <gasps> necrotic damage. You How watch you as an anemone, anemone is fully down. 35? Uh, yeah, she only Five? has Light is a fourth level spell. This is great. Yeah. This is great. Um, anemone will look down at this one. Um, we're making death saving throws in the next round. Yep. Yeah. You're down. Yeah. Anemone falls to the ground as she begins to mummify and turn black, her skin withered. And the shaman stands. False moon children, you will all die. But. Oh, I'm going to kill it now. That he, is his turn. So fucked. So the dire fucked. wolf is next. Um, dire wolf. Uh, right here, where is he? Direwolf next to Delphra runs up to Delphra 
and is going to attack because she is five feet away from him. Let's see. What do you do? You're going to bite. Still here? So he does die? a 16 hit? I think that one died. This one. All right. So you take nine damage, piercing damage. Um, and you need to give me a strength saving throw. A 13. So you just pass. You feel as this wolf runs, this dire wolf runs up to you and rips into your shoulder. Almost. You almost lose your footing. But for a moment there, you feel the strength of your fox surge through you. And he comes up in behind you and pushes back so that you don't fall and land prone. Uh, Sin, what do you do? I just saw a Namini fall down mm -hmm. and I go, I don't have any, any, anything to do for you. Uh, you said it, the guy's still up, right? Yes. I am going to use my uh, <laughs> my lunar power with my bonus action, which there it does a bunch of stuff. Can you tag me in the spot where we put Hold those? A second. <clears throat> and I will find it. It is in player rules, I think. Uh, rules. Game Where information. It? Oh, it's an equipment. An equipment. Oh, yeah. I put it in each of your spots. Okay. Okay. So, do you see where you are? Do you want me to? Do you want me to tag you in it? I found it. I found it. Okay. Um. Oh, it makes my Eldritch Blast better. Ooh, Interesting. That sounds like a really good idea for this asshole who just. I don't use that. Eldritch Blast though. Is the problem? It's okay. okay. I. You know what? Uh, it gives me. <clears throat> Do I still get the haste effect or is that no longer a part of it? I don't see a haste effect anymore. Um, there is so no, there's no haste effect. Why did I think that there was a haste effect? Am I getting things confused? I think so. I think so. Okay. Um, it says a Warlock's Eldritch Blast or Chosen Spell gains an additional damage die. Could we apply that to my Pact weapon because that's like yes. my warlock thing okay well then i will do that um and then i'm going to uh shoot the motherfucker in die, the face die i got a 22 22 very good that hits yes of course he is okay. not very strong i'm going to roll the damage uh, I got a seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh man, you blast him in the face. He's barely hanging on. You feel him fall to the. You see him fall to the floor again. Um, prone once more. Oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna let you in on this. He's four hit points left, guys. You guys <sighs> destroyed him. Okay. Uh, with that, I'm just as I like like have my arrow, I release it, and he goes down, and I'm getting ready to like draw another one, um, and I just scream, "Help her!" And that's my turn. Oh, uh, Rosalind, rinse and repeat. <clears throat> you said a fourteen hits him, right? Yep. Excellent. All right. Cool. cool, cool. <laughs> um. I didn't stealth, so I don't think I get sneak attack this time, but. Uh, someone <clears> is right. No, Anemone's not around anymore. Yep, you don't get sneak. It's okay. Sorry, I was distracted. Um, all right, so my longbow will do 1d8 plus 2. You will probably kill him. Just don't I, roll a 1. I mean, plus 2, right? Yeah, so, so just don't roll a 1 on your, your d8. Which I did not. I rolled a 3. Perfect. So. How do you kill him? <clears throat> well, I think because he's fucking mouthy, we're going to take an arrow straight through his through his mouth, uh, his mouth hole, and uh, out the back of his head. As he opens his mouth to growl, you 
pull back your bow uh, majestically, I might add, with your hair <laughs> flowing in the wind, your little red will-o'-wisp uh, tinkling in your ear, yes. giving you, giving you. Uh, I didn't realize she stayed. I love that. Yeah, she's coming with you. She's decided it. that you're her person, and she's yeah. like. And she's like, you got this in bell in bell talk. I don't know what that is, but you roll back, <clears throat> hi baby, and as he goes to open his mouth and growl, skewer him right through his mouth and out the back of his head, and you hear yeah. <clears throat> as he <laughs> falls to the floor and dies. The shaman is gone. Uh werewolf. Our next werewolf will go. He is prone, but he's going to get up. Uh, well, let's see who he is. Clear. Da, 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 da. He can get 5, 10, 15. He can't even get to anyone. 5, 10, 15. Yes, he, no, he can't. He gets. He makes it right five feet away from Clover and Cappy. But he can't do anything. Um. Let's see. Who's next? That's his turn. Kathy, what do you do? You have a werewolf coming for oh, you. Oh, real quick before we before we move on, can I use my bonus yes, action madame. to try to stealth? Yes. Cool. So that I can maybe... All right. So that's a 10 plus something because I'm just kind of stealthy. So that's a 16. A 16. That's good enough. <laughs> you dive roll behind a tree, taking full cover and... Uh, Rosalind is gone, everybody, but you know she's there. You know how she fights. You hear like Better a from tingle. the darkness. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cappy, what do you do? Yeah, um, so so just to make sure, um, so green, the shaman is dead, the orange wolf is also dead. No, uh the wolf is dead, yes. Let me take these off the map. I totally forgot to do that. Because I am the worst. Fine. Well, and got a lot of things to juggle right now so i am surprised i am able to talk because everything is spinning so is, is this seeing this up? werewolf um running towards <clears throat> me this this the purple one um i am going to swirl a ball of magical rainbow energy and i am going to cast chaos bolt at second level Beautiful. Um, and it is going to give me, um, let's see, what is it? One, it's acid. Um, okay. so it is going to do nine points of acid damage, but it's also going to jump because I rolled two ones. So it's going to, uh, within again. five feet, right? What? Within five feet? It jumps within five no, feet? No, it's within 30 feet, I believe. Oh, nice. Where's it going? Um, wait, well, let's see. Within 30 feet of you. Um, within 30 feet of that creature. Oh, wait. The what? The dire werewolf over here might be. Roll yeah, it here. I believe. Yeah. Nice. So, um, so yeah. So it's going to hit with acid. It's going to jump. I need to roll that again. Um, and that is a 12 to hit. Does that hit? A 12 does not hit. Okay. Uh, it's able to dodge out of the way, but the werewolf in front of you growls as he his skin begins to burn and bubble. Uh, and um, also, as that happens, you see a kind of ramping up of energy as a wild magic surge happens. Um, suddenly, Cappy is surrounded by illusory butterflies and flower petals. Oh, so <laughs> you wow. see, that could have gone in, so in much this worse. chaos. <laughs> you see, Fleety chasing after the butterflies going oh how pretty i'm gonna get them okay and then poof one butterfly disappears but another one takes its place as you as these butterflies swirl around you oh well that was um not bad at all wow your magic goes a little wild i would say but it's okay <laughs> i still love you oh i love you too fleety Oh, okay. And he gets a little red blush on his cheeks. I love him. Uh, Clover, it is your turn. Okay. Um, so, above the table, quick question. Um, mm -hmm. The wording of my, um, my special cleric moon power, Moonlight Surge, specifically yeah. says under the moonlight, I can use an action to unleash a surge. Does that mean I'm going to say that you can just it? do it? 
you create moonlight. Okay. Fantastic. Um, in that case, um, Clover t has turned around. Um, she sees <clears throat> Anemone crumple to the floor, basically screams Anemone's name, and um, a pulse of moonlight emits from Clover. She's using um, her cleric moonlight surge um, to everyone within a 30-foot sphere get some healing from this. So Aria will get some healing. Anemone will get some healing. Um, I that's think it. Delphra everyone else is fine. And, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, Delphra, took some, Delphra took some damage, yeah. Delphra takes healing as well because she's within 30 feet. And Cappy, I think you're okay, right? Um, yeah. Those are the people within 30 feet. So um, we'll take... 3d10 plus three um, moonlight explodes from your chest uh and this healing this healing aura washes over every one of you in that 30 feet you feel calm loved seen like everything is going to be okay how much do you do 29 points of healing each as you heal for 29 points of dam of healing not damage I rolled well. I rolled real well. Um, Anemone, so your skin begins to fill out. You begin, the black begins to leave your skin and you burst awake. Wow. What's, what else do you do on your turn? Um, okay. So that was healing. Oh. Um, Clover actually didn't do this. Uh, she, this was involuntary for her. This was just like, she saw it in go down. Pure panic. It, it just comes out. Yeah. Yep. It just manifested like that. Um, so the shaman is on no, he's gone, right? It's so there's the werewolf next to Cappy. Okay. So my uh bonus action spiritual weapon round to the werewolf. Um, that's threatening me and Cappy right now. Um oops, I didn't roll the right dice. <laughs> uh fourteen plus something to hit, fourteen plus yeah. Uh, no. Uh, dirty Wait. twenty. Dirty no, that twenty. Hits. To yeah, hit. definitely hits. Dirty twenty hits. Definitely, hundred percent. Awesome. For eight plus three is eleven radiant damage. Eleven radiant damage. It is having. It is struggling to stand right now. Um. Another hit, maybe one. Another hit, depending on how good you roll, or one more. You can tell it's barely. It's barely making it through. Good job. Awesome. That's it. That's uh, done. Let's see. Delphra. Where are we? This guy? Where are you looking? This guy is alive. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see. I have one, two, three left. Yeah, that guy's alive. Everyone, I took off the people that were dead. Okay. So, let's see here. Your dire werewolf. Ba, 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 deck save. He, an 18. The other one uh, is a 17. Eight damage. Beautiful. Um, One and two. There we go. Looking good. the werewolf by you that just uh i mean he's scared of you he's not gonna attack you you're somewhere in the bushes and honestly that's fine for him uh 5 10 15 he is however gonna run up to cappy over here who's been doing a fuck ton of damage and make an attack uh let's see let's see what you do my my buddy so he makes one bite attack and two claw attacks. Let's 
see. Does a does a seven? Nope, an eight does not hit you. He rolled a one. That's a nat fucking one. Fuck that motherfucker. He goes to swipe at you and almost hits himself. Okay, he he. It was like it was a panic run. He took off. You know, uh, forgive him. Axie. Don't forgive him. Uh, but he does hit you with one of his claw attacks for a 21 and a for what of you he's not attacking you he turned away and ran away he's not looking at you he turned around to hit Cappy well the thing is you're behind him now right I'm, I oh, just also, feel bad. She teleported into the shadows too. Like You so teleported into the anymore. shadows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you take. I know I'm meant to be attack... rolling for the other side, but sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Keep us all honest. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take 11 damage for the first attack and 9 for the second. How are you doing? Um, what was the what was the um what were the numbers that they rolled? I'm just 21 curious. and 23. Yeah, that brings me down. That's exactly how many hit points I had. Oh, oh. shit. He I gotcha. misses the first attack as he tries no, to bite no, her, no. running panicked from Delphra, but then takes two massive swipes with his claws, and Cappy goes to the ground. Um Fleety. Shit, no. he would. Hang on a second. Nat 20. Fleety transforms into a beautiful elven man with pale skin okay. and piercings in his ears, one in his lip, uh, brown, dark brown eyes with a ring of silver around them and long black hair. And he stands over you. <gasps> he looks at this guy and he goes, I don't think so. And you see this you see this dire werewolf begin to shiver and then begin to twitch and then cry out as he starts to turn to ice. And I'm going to give him a save. We're going to see what his thing is. Okay, so he mm -hmm. rolls a four on the dice. He, sit, he does not save as he begins to turn into an ice statue. Love it. And mm -hmm. Fleety cradles uh, Cappy's body to his chest. Um, It is now... That guy is dead. Excuse me. Let me get rid of him. Ba -ba -ba. I didn't even get to see this. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> You'll see him when I heal you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to wake up and there's going to be these beautiful You're brown be... eyes looking down <laughs> at you. Wow, at you. They, they've wow, got this like wow, this ring of silver, wow. ring of silver that draws you in. Hot. Does um, he have cheek dimples? I will describe him dimples. to you in more detail after this. I love uh, the little like the little dimples right down here when somebody smiles. Like, I mean, real dimples are amazing too, but like there's just that really cute thing about like the little dimples <laughs> right here and like really good cheekbones anemone I'm a sucker for a set of good cheekbones it's your turn <laughs> sorry there is a dire uh, wolf so and a second. werewolf on. left sorry mm -hmm. sorry i was making memes in discord okay um... <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's in front of the tree. Anyway, this sorry. is not when I wanted to reveal <laughs> him, but he's here now. <laughs> he's there now. He's there now. Um. Okay. Anemone seeing the cute dragon boy, dragon mm -hmm. that she's like so cute. I want to like pinch his cheeks, turn into a hot dragon man. Go rethinking my life choices. <laughs> looks at the wolf and goes, "Yeah, I'm done." Um. <laughs> She's going to rage. <laughs> rage? Because okay. that's something she can do. 
that's her bonus action. Um, she's not going to use her cool, cool thing yet. Um, none of them deserve it at the moment. So, except maybe this guy. But uh, she's going to go right up to him and she's going to stomp all 15 feet of her massive power towards a uh, guy in front of her. And she's going to okay. whack him with her void strike blade. And um, as a free action. <laughs> anyway, um, hold on one second. Hold on one moment. Yeah, I, yeah. I have to I have to attack this guy. Um while blushing at the fact that there's a hot dragon dang <laughs> uh, hold on dice just we, knows we gotta... exactly how to fuck us all up in combat it's just to hold draw on, someone on. into the listen, scene and we are okay. distracted listen we are hold all on. so gay hold until on. like that description hormones go happens go. hormones went and she rolled a 17. she is not swayed she is a rolling for a 21. <laughs> A twenty-one modified. hits, definitely a hundred percent. Twenty-one hits with the D ten. Um, you know what? I'm gonna roll on D and D Beyond because my rolls are not that great. Uh, for a four points of damage, <clears throat> you sl- plus, you slash yeah. into his chest. Plus what? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. You slash into his chest. Uh, coming to seeing Fleety. Being confused, you stumble over to this guy and you take a, a swipe, grazing his chest, doing four points of jam- damage. He's breathing heavy. Is that your turn? Um, can I intimidate him as a free action? You know what? Sure. Roll me an intimidation check. We gotta be intimidating here. We just got back from life. You know what? We have to have a discussion on what what works here um story six six you scream rage trying to trying to intimidate him but he doesn't look intimidated more just worried that he's about to die good that's, more worried that's, about that's everyone enough. else that, you just came enough. back to life that's uh, good it is enough. his turn however okay okay and uh he's just going to Take a snap at you with his teeth, rolling a 22 to hit. Uh, 11 damage. You good? 11, 11 damage, eh? Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. he, he hit me for 11, eh? Yeah. I don't like when you uh-huh. say that. Uh-huh. Don't say it like uh-huh. that. Are you down again? Uh-huh. No, no uh-huh. I'm not. I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm up. I'm up. I'm just saying. Remember, you he is st- healing. He I'm, I'm, I'm raging. I'm, I'm just raging. I'm just raging. So you have an advantage on saves and you have yes. half damage. So, okay, so you're half damage of that. Five. So six. So six. Okay. Round up. Maybe. Need to go six. up by five. Sorry. Uh, so no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good then. Give I'm me a strength saving throw. DC 13. And you have advantage on that strength because you're raging. Yes, yeah. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Sorry, I was very As distracted. I, my wine. I was very bottle. distracted by hot Halvin dragon boys. One second. <laughs> uh, with the advantage. Okay, that's what, what, what we're talking about here. Uh, 21. Modified. 21 17. damage. Okay, so he mm-hmm. goes to no- he tries to knock you down, but being the Goliath that you are, you just push him back and you are in a struggle to see who's stronger right now cool um cool 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 sin what do you do hey um is there only one left there are two left a werewolf and a dire werewolf okay which which one just snapped at uh, the purple guy is the werewolf yes okay he's he's the dire wolf he's he's attacking he's attacking no way yeah, I have the it the wrong one. way. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to move my hex blades curse to that mofo, and I'm going to release the arrow that <clears throat> the, the magical moon arrow that has been drawn this whole time. And I feel like in oh, a very co- in a very like combat coordinated way, she's going to yell towards an enemy left, like kind of signaling that you should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and she's going to. And then he's struggling with him, maneuvers him slightly to the left so that you can, you can, shoot him. Yeah. Uh, twenty-two to hit. And your aim is true. Ugh. As you pierce him in the shoulder. 
What I do will you do? tell you how much damage that does. That does 17 damage. And just as Anemone puts him to the side, your arrow is true. It slides and continues through just to the heart. And he <laughs> dies. Excellent. You notice as he dies, the arrow, which was like a silvery white color, starts to pull tendrils of darkness out of it. And it kind of like spiders across the arrow. And as the arrow like dissolves, because it's just like energy, that spindly thread of black energy kind of like goes, refollows the the trace that uh, its path of uh, movement. And it like goes into Sin's like heart. And she goes. <sighs> and you feel... By the way, as this this That's energy goes back into your heart, <laughs> you feel not Luna, but you feel Nixaria and her surge of appreciation for you. Welcome to her the want party. for you to live. Because you are, again, her favorite little warlock that she has. <clears throat> And you heal five hit points. That. I yeah. Now I wasn't. <laughs> yes, uh, I think then as she watches it collapse, she's going to redirect her aim at the final enemy, but she can't do mm -hmm. anything yet. So she just another arrow is going to like form in her fingers, ready uh, to pelt it. Roz, yes, it's your turn. Um, I am going to I'm gonna see who's still up. Uh, shooting at some wolfy wolves. Um, the one that yeah, the one you're tapping right now. Oh Jesus shit! That's an eighteen fuck. on the die and plus four. That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh, you hit him. Dice yes, are you so hit him. good. I fucking love these dice. I regret oh, yeah. buying them for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love these guys so much. Um, okay. <clears throat> so keep losing my D8. Okay, there it is. So it's D8 plus two. So that is four plus that's six. And then sneak attack. Oops. 14 14 plus the four so that's 18 total how do you do this what does it look <laughs> like as you murder keep, the last one keep murking all of the things yeah <laughs> um so in this case she would have just shot it as cleanly through sort of it's both like fuck I, you shoot him through the temple yeah 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 100%. He turns to look behind him because he's afraid of Delphra. And mm -hmm. in that moment, you take your shot. Just immediately you see your opening and bam, right through his temple. Absolutely. He falls. Fuck you. Yeah. You guys are out of combat. Yeah, she's going to walk up and kick him. You walk up and you um, kick him a few times. The The corpse does not even mm -hmm. move. Like, like you just... Uh, 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 and nothing. He's so dead. And you fuck I with my friends. immediately, I immediately Bam. go and put, uh, put two hands on Kathy, like two back paws on the ground, front paws on Kathy, yeah. and just reach forward and nose to nose, um, cast, um, uh, what's the damn spell called? Cure wounds, first level, um, only for six hit points, but it's better than nothing. But it's a little nose to nose moonlight, pew, little burst. Happy, Happy. you come back to life. <laughs> Oh, there's Wrapped a hot dragon dad. In this elves this male elves arm that you've <clears throat> never seen before. Let me explain, let me tell you what he looks like as you come back to this. So I have a description for him. <laughs> you have a reference picture? Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I've put it in I've put it in the NPCs for you. Ooh. So 
this elegant elf with straight ebony hair that cascades like a winter night down his shoulders. He has coal-rimmed eyes with a mischievous sparkle in them, reflecting the joyous spe- spirit of um, Eustace. But right now, those eyes are concerned and worried that he might have lost someone that he cares about. Um, that lip bite, though. Mm. <laughs> and that's... Hot damn. Uh, <laughs> he has an unparalleled sense of style to his clothing as you take him in. Uh, his In his elven form, he dons a symphony of contrasting textures and elegant layers. Uh, he wears a long flowing cloak crafted from an ethereal silk that mimics the shimmering glow of the moon on fresh snow. The cloak, embroidered with delicate silver threads, billows gracefully behind him as he holds you. Uh, underneath that, he adorns himself with a, form, a form-fitting tunic, um, es- an exquisite blend of enchanted fabrics. The deep shade of his midnight blue, of that midnight blue, com- complements his em- ebony black hair. I'm so fucking drunk. Um, while intricate patterns of frost and snowflakes are sub- subtly woven into the pattern of all of his clothing. Um, his tailored trousers are tight and a charcoal gray, creating a very nice balance for the rest of the <clears throat> outfit. His waist, a silver threaded, a silver threaded belt, cinches the outfit together, accentuating his slender elven frame, and his footworm. This footworm. I read too many things at once. <laughs> His footwear, <laughs> seemingly weightless, consisting of pointed black boots that are very tasteful with the outfit. He is a very stylish, a very um. I'm not even going to make you roll for it. Royal elf in front of you. Holding oh, you think... in his arms, caressing your cheek. He looks down and he goes, I thought I'd lost you. Um, I was half expecting him to sound, I thought I lost you. <laughs> I thought I lost you. <laughs> I thought I lost you, Cappy. It'd <laughs> ruin the whole He's effect. a 10, but he talks like a little baby dragon. <laughs> 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 um i think uh looking up seeing this unfamiliar face like it, as injured as i am i kind of attempt to scramble away um like unsure he lets you go he lets uh, you go but he looks worried as you go for, as you scramble away from him and a little sad that he scared you and you hear the- i am sorry and he steps back away from you and then he's going to just go in between, between Cappy and Hot Dragon Boy just to be a physical presence of you're not going to get my girl without talking to mom or dad or whatever you want to call me. He bites <laughs> his lip and brings it <clears throat> into the corner of his life as you do that. Uh, he looks <clears throat> you up and down and he says, unfortunately, I think I am taken. And he turns back into Fleety. <clears throat> Uh, you didn't need to do that yet flying over to you Cappy but you like me better in this form well I didn't say that Um, he transforms back oh um, this is all very distracting but um and I'm (laughs) gonna go like find a high point so I can like scout around I've I've still got my bow and like kind of combat form uh just kind of guarding around. just guarding the area so that everyone can take care of the wounded and figure out what's going on with Arya and the Moros. Guarding mm-hmm. the area, you hear coming from the left side of you, you hear a bunch of branches cracking as suddenly Diana pops through. A little bloody, but all in all intact, looking at you all. Goes, everyone's fine. Not We're alive. Quite. Alive, barely. She relaxes just a little bit. Good. Good. 
and walks over to you. Where's Orion? She shrugs. Not back yet, I suppose. She went to the left. Or to the right. Are, how are you feeling? Can you find her? Let's heal up first. Well, I'll go find her then. I'm feeling fine. And I'm going to go to the... G said she went to the left. To the right. So you walk to off the right. to the right. Yeah, I'm going to walk off to the right looking for You Ryan. hear Sin from behind you, but you continue on. Um, As you continue on give me um give me a, a nature check i am so average i got a nat one <laughs> a nat one you're looking in the forest for what feels like an hour maybe two trying oh, to damn. find orion uh oh, you shit. come across body after body of wolves and werewolves dead and when you find her, you see her on her knees, staring out at what used to be Umberfell. You're so close to the border. Um, I'm going to roll to see if she hears you approach. And are we kind of like on a higher ground looking down at the Umber Fell? Like like on a hillside looking down, or are we No, is it, it is just... a straight it's a straight pathway through. It was okay. uh it was it used to be a field. Okay. But it is no longer. Um what do you do? I see her kneeling and I'm gonna like quickly assess like is she injured or is she just standing there wasting time? Roll me perception. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. There are no injuries on her, but you do see that her shoulders are shaking. Oh. She's going to slowly approach and stand mm -hmm. behind her a respectful distance. You're late. You see her shoulders tense. Not expecting to have anyone to have come to find her. Why? Why did no one tell me what had happened? What happened? What? <laughs> she looks, what happened? She's looking out at Umberfell. And she looks over to over her shoulder to you. Almost almost just broken by the callousness of what? Her eyes puffy and red. Above table has Umberfell changed in my lifetime or is this kind of how it's not been? in your lifetime? Okay, so yeah, I'm thoroughly confused what she means. What happened to my home? It's been like this as long as I've been here. It was not it was not like this 700 years ago. What was it like? <clears throat> Beautiful. I don't know. I think it's kind of charming. In its own way. She looks at you. She almost, she rounds on you so quickly. You don't expect it. And she's in your face and she goes, the lance is dead. Who? How do you say that this is beautiful? Oh, the land is dead, she said. What does the land look like, actually? I don't even know what I'm commenting on. I'm. It is gray. Oh, like the shadowy kind of world. The grass is gray. It is not as shadowy as it used to be, but it didn't... It's not healthy. Okay. Um. Okay, so when she, she rounds on her... It used to be a lot worse, you know. There was a curse. I don't know how long it was there for, but... We did break it, and it's the last time I was here. And I'm going to, like, look past her shoulder over to um, the land... It's actually starting to perk up a bit. I think with a few more years, it would maybe it'll look a little bit more like home. You see her because I rolled for it. You see her struggle in front of you as her eyes flare this bright neon orange, almost like she's having trouble controlling her magic in front of you. And she has to walk away, her hands clenched in these fists that are starting to glow orange. And you see her. You just you hear a sob echo from her. 
I <laughs> felt these judge. We don't know that. And she breaks down. <sighs> I'm here. And she's going to kind of like kneel and like give her an awkward like back pat. She flinches away from you. Are we? Don't, uh, don't touch me. <sighs> and she'll she'll get up, wipe her face. And let me roll. And you see her almost everything seems to lock down. Her face uh, blanks. The, the, the magic that was trying to break through from her dims. And she's almost gone. Like she's a shell of a human being. Everything has been locked away. She wipes her face. Let's return. And walks away from you. Uh, yes and then she's going to silently curse the fact that she doesn't know the message spell so that she can't let everybody know where she's been for the last two hours uh yeah <laughs> in that time what are you guys doing well i still haven't gotten this person's name what do you do um he's kneeling beside you uh, I think I, I get up, um, having been healed by Clover. Well, do I, do I still call you Fleety? Of course you do. <sighs> what else would you call me? That's my name. Well, oh. that's one of them. Do and he, you... he bites his lip and grins at you. Ah. <laughs> um, do you have... <laughs> Other Sir. Um, do i have other names of course uh, i have other names i have been called daddy december <laughs> called the archfey of eustace <laughs> and um, well my true name but that i don't give that out so easily did you say <gasps> archfey that's that's the I one did. you're focused on not daddy um, december so uh, he, he I, looks over the shoulder at you, Rosalind, and just kind of winks. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so, but why are you here? I, why would you be... Why am I here? Do you not know, child? Know what? Well, obviously, I'm in love with you. You are my wife-to-be, and I will take very good care of you. Well, you will be the queen of Eulstis. Well, you have wait, everything wait, wait, you want. I will wait, lavish wait. you in fun. Wait, wait, wait. Rewind. Me, Rewind for a second. Hold on. What? What? Time, what? Time, what? Time what? out. Time out. Who? What? You are not marrying her. She has not consented to this. When did this happen? I love her. And I will treat yes, her. Yes, but does she cheat the... It's called you consent. You need to propose to her. Propose. Until propose. she decides that she loves me as well. But, I can uh, wait. I don't uh, die. Uh, I, maybe, but I... Uh, Hello. And he he's suddenly rolled out and le uh, leaning on a shoulder beside you. No. My gorgeous little bunny. Uh, this guy uh, went from hot to this? creepy like zero to a hundred in <laughs> he's a 10 but he's, but he's a bit of a, a creep, creep. <laughs> are you not aware he says to you i don't think so i didn't know oh. this sounds familiar to me but when did i become he usually him sit back what? immediately just he sits back and like puts space between you immediately he goes oh my apologies. I thought you were aware. And he goes, he he's, takes a minute, he cocks his head to the side, and he looks at you, his body, his eyes go up and down your body. He goes, your mother sold her unborn child to me. <gasps> I'm sorry, he did what? She did what? We have to oh. talk here. What? Mm. We have... When... Your mother, when you were in the room, and he looks at you, and he goes, 
I had been nearby mm. and I heard a cry for help. She said that she would give me anything I wanted, but I asked for specifics and she said, mm-hmm. I'll give you my child. Is your true name you Rumble up. Stiltskin or something? I feel like your <laughs> true name is Rumble Stiltskin. He, you see him look over <laughs> at you, kind of flick his hair behind his shoulders and goes, No, but I do know him if you'd like uh, to meet him. No, 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 no. I'm good. 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 She, she offered you to me. So me? She fucking so Yeah, she's he's he's got his hands up like he doesn't understand why you're upset right now. Um, and he takes out a tissue and he hands it to you, like he's handing it to you. It's this silk tissue that glows glittery silver. And he goes, I would have come a lot differently had I known that you did not know. I apologize. Um, Oh, we need to have a conversation. Things. My sweet darling. I am sorry I haven't been here sooner. I took a nap. And then when I woke up, you were here. <laughs> he, he's he's like kneeling in front of you. Can I call uh, you Frank? His hands out. C- can I just call you Frank and not Fleety? Because frankly, frankly, this is he a looks little, at you. little bit weird. Very, mm-hmm. very weird. Very, very weird because see, Cappy, Cappy is not in her actual real state right now because of her mother. Yes, she is. Well, I know. Right? I is that see right? Her real state. He that looks. Is? He looks at you, Cappy, and he goes, "No, I can see that you are. You used to be an elf. You're quite beautiful, actually. Long blonde he still hair." Is. She is, of course she is. I don't care what she looks like. I could be anything. And you see him, you see him turn into a bunny, a mouse, um, a tiefling. He's like, I don't care what you look like. And then back to his elven form. And then to Fleety. I just want you to be happy. But why would you accept that bargain? He's back into his elven form. He's oh, kneeling in front fey. of you. Cough, cough, fey. Of course I'm fey. Mm. And uh, he looks at you. Hang on a second. I'm not here. I am still. Oh, you're not. You're walk. on your way back. That, yeah. Um, of course I'm fey. But he looks at you. Uh, he looks at you, Clover. Not Clover. Cappy. And uh, he goes, well, she was trying to save your father. They had gotten themselves into a rather dire situation with a monster that they could not beat. And your father had gone down. But, so she but, bargained anything. But he... But did it... It didn't work. I gave her power. I didn't say I would help save. I didn't fight. She, she wanted power and I gave it to her. What kind of power? Now the magic she has, of course. She never had it all along. But I thought she was a, a, a warrior, and not some sort of. He's wizard. very slowly, kind of like leaning in, creeping towards you, and he puts out a hand for your paw. Do you, do you take it? Is between uh, them, sideways, fluffed up. Just yeah, staring daggers at him. How about we leave touch out of this as Anemone imposes even more as Clover and Anemone uh, he, he backs, are like he backs off. He doesn't he doesn't push, okay? He backs off. He's he's being respectful. He goes, I your mother was always Aurea. She didn't always have magic. I didn't even know. I gave her the magic she needed to save your brothers. Unfortunately, she didn't save your father. It was too late for him. But you are the collateral that she bargained with. Collateral? That is... He looks at you. 
He looks at you and he goes, I misspoke. Perhaps the prize? It's better, but this is still fucked. Or the treasure, maybe? This is this is this is still fucked. Like it's a person's life. Which she had about she you. had no she way to give consent person. for her life. She was why 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 did you not uh, <clears throat> I figured not if get... she was so willing to throw away her child, maybe it would be better in my world. Sure, but maybe then give her an option as to what she wants to do with her life. Like instead of just saying, Yep, you know what, that's cool. I'll just I'll just marry her. Maybe be like, Yeah, so your mom's a bitch. Um Well, I what... asked for her hand mm-hmm. and she gave it to me. So technically I did ask and she gave it. What? Well, I didn't. Earlier, when I was what? a dragon, I asked for her hand and she gave me her hand, and that means that she gave it to me. Just like you gave and he looks very confused. He looks at you, Clover, and at you, uh and 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 you uh aurora's not here he looks at you and he goes well you gave me your name it's called say your name and he looks at you clover go ahead say your name Mm -mm. no don't do it don't just like you all ate my apples oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute (laughs) i don't think you're operating under the same rules that our society operates under. I think there's been a big misunderstanding. I well, think of course not. I'm an archfey. Wait, just hang on. Let me finish. Yes, of she course. Like, and he sits down and he he's, he's, he's still, looking at you. She puts a paw in his mouth. <gasps> yeah, she, he's, says, he's letting you and he goes, oh, kinky. <clears throat> <laughs> um, okay, so she puts a paw in his mouth and she just says, as far as I know, Cappy met you yesterday. Well, that, technically. In, in our world, in our society, people don't offer or agree to marriage after knowing people for one day. But as you can imagine... He, look, he looks so... A, 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 let me finish. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> if you want happy to know you and to become your friend you need to start from the bottom and see if you're compatible people before rushing into anything he puts a hand over the paw that you've got on his face and he pulls back just a little bit and he gives you he goes to give you a little scritch behind the ear and he goes well why do you think i came why do you think i appear to you as such a small little lovable creature so that maybe we could talk first I think one thing you're missing in the whole thing where you said her mom gave consent, she gave consent. There's something called informed consent. Without complete information, she cannot make a decision about her life. And you did not give her complete information to start. He looks he looks really sad as you're saying all of this. And he sits back and he goes, I thought you knew who I was. You called me Daddy December. And he looks, he looks almost heartbroken. Like I thought you understood that I was an archfey. We just thought you were a lizard. It's the <laughs> solstice lizard. Sorry, the Eustace lizard. Wait, but the Eustace lizard is an archfey. Well, we... I am Daddy December. I am the Eustace Wait, lizard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold sh- hot man, shush. Hot man, yes, ma'am. Shush. <laughs> yes, ma'am, and he sits back down. Please sit down, cross-legged, sit up straight, listen up. Okay. We ate your food. We scritched your back. It's kind of violating for me because A, my sister's here. And don't worry about Delphra. She's she's naked in in the moment. Just don't don't look (laughs) at me. At least there's one fun one. (laughs) Having said that, we did not know exactly if you were an archfey we figured you were just a little dragon out in the middle of nowhere who could do crazy parlor tricks with apples now we did not realize that there was something attached to that now you know all of our names yes but you did not give me all of your names i heard them no because i want to keep my name because i know your tricks no well, then if you knew who I was, why are you so mm-hmm. angry at me? 
Because no one likes getting tricked without being in on the joke. But you can't be tricked if you know who I am. Yes, but it's if you were trying to jump five minutes ago. We know what you are. We don't know who you are. There's a difference. Yes. I'm the king of Yulstis. I am the archfey. That's great. Could Wait. Out on the table. On the table. Do any of us as characters know anything about archfey slash king of fays? Because he just gave us a clue. An archfey. Um, Mm. Roll history. Couldn't that be oh, for all of us? Yes. That are present. And then if um, if Sin is fi- following up with Lady Orion hearing this in the shadows. Yeah, you guys have just gotten back to hear all of this. Oh. Okay. Santa? Oh. Why, Ebony? <laughs> Why? <laughs> 14. It's just an 11 for me. 14. 14 is good. Uh, Archfey are the rulers of a certain domain of Fey. Um... They are the strongest. They take care of their... They're the king of an entire group of fae that live in their domain. Um, okay. All this um, time. I think Clover, Clover says... Oh, I'm sorry. So, all this time, I <laughs> thought my mother hated me because I became... A rabbit. I can I can but fix that, that if you like. That wasn't the case ever. She never. He he kind of reaches towards you, goes, My sweet. I am please don't cry. And he he's waiting to see if you'll let him touch you. Um, I think in this moment, I'm too distracted to stop, to stop him. And I'm not, he's not, he's not going, he's, the thing is, he's, his head is still, he's not reaching forward. He's just hovering close to you. Like if you'll let him and give him a a moment to, he'll hug you. I, I don't think so. I don't think I'm ready for that. I'll let him hover. I'll let him be close. Yeah. And he hovers close by to you. I, I came to you as soon as I could and I thought perhaps you would like me better in my other form. I meant to build a rapport with you first. I did, but then you went down and I I did not want to see you hurt. Where do you think your magic comes, my little queen? I, I, I never knew. I, I, I never you are knew. of me. Oh fuck! <clears throat> You're much stronger than most sorcerers I meet. Have you not ever wondered why? I, I never knew I was. I, I, I didn't. I, I don't think I. <laughs> I don't think I am. I. He very, very gently is going to wipe a tear from your your fur. And he says. You have so much power within you. You could be the greatest sorcerer of all time. And I will give it to you freely. If you stop crying. Please. Um. Okay. Um, I. Your mother. Why don't we ask her what she's done? Hmm? Get your closure. I can feel her now. I know where she is. Where is she? She's in Tembrosa. We have to have a conversation. And very quickly, you remember that there was an ambassador sent to Tembrosa. How many how many sharp things are we taking to Tembrosa? That's what I'm saying. Like sharp, sharp, sharp things. Should we go? Should we, should we go? Should we go? Should we? Should we? Yeah. Should we shop mm. first? I yeah, agree. I like... Do we can javelins? I can poison, make us javelins. Maybe some poison yep. as mm-hmm. well. One thousand yep. percent. We're yeah, gonna violently negotiate Sorry. with consent. Ladies? Sorry. Ladies. As this as this conversation Ultimately, is happening, this is Cappy's decision. 
so I know, as this I conversation know, I know, I know. is happening, he's he's wiping tears from your eyes just very gently. And he goes, tell me how I can help. And he looks at you and all this, he goes, no strings, of course. Clover, you may have your name back. And uh, and he go, looks to Aurora and Aurora and he goes, and you as well. And I gave you a gift this morning because I wanted you to eat well and be strong. But if you forgive me, no strings attached, of course. Aurora. He takes a few steps away from you guys. Aurora, do you want that name back? I wasn't even aware it was gone. To be honest with you. I'm all right with... <clears throat> I haven't decided if I'm comfortable with... You can call me Sin for now. He it looks isn't... at you, Sin, and he goes, I'll hold on to it until you decide you're ready for it back. Mm, not you sure may call me whenever you need someone to help. Until then. Right. That was just an apple, right? <laughs> just an apple. For your forgiveness mm -hmm. that I have tricked you all. Mm -hmm. I was under the assumption that you knew who I was. Well, good king of a frost realm because of all the cold and the ice and the yulstisness. Good king of frost? Yulstice. Daddy, it's Daddy December. <laughs> you may call me Daddy December. You may call me Fleety <laughs> if you like. We're encouraging him. Uh, Daddy? That's a little weird. Well, I didn't name myself that. You named me that, and I'll go with it if you like. It's just and he puts like his hair back, and he bites his lip, and he looks at you, and he through these these half lidded, uh, you know, uh, eyes. He goes, "You are rather cute." I'm just saying. I feel I, like well, sins, like in sh uh, Moon's Shadow, they take uh, Yulstice very seriously. Like as soon as it gets cold, the entire town is like decorated. So for yeah. her, this was like, yeah, I told you it was the Yulstice lizard. Nobody, I was very serious when I said that. <laughs> yeah. And he's and looking at you. He's like <laughs> hyperbolic. <laughs> I apologize. And then he turns back into to Fleety. Please let me come with you. Yes, we have to let Eustace <clears throat> Lizard go with that. Like, I, 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 I want to give you all the good things that there are in life because you started out so walky. So I could give wife. you wife, wife what? is bad. Wife. 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 He turns wife. back into yeah. his regular self. Life, wife, all right? Yeah. I'm oh. sorry, okay? I'm I sorry to realize so much with the mouth that I have. <laughs> <laughs> all right? I legitimately did not realize it was a speech affectation for a second. I was like, no wife. Wife is off the table for right now. <laughs> <laughs> he kneels in front of you, Cappy, and he goes, sorry. Let me show you the good things in this world. There we go. And mine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, you can offer, but still. I can earn it if you like. I Just let me come with you. I think you'll have to do that. I think you'll have to earn it. You see this brilliant smile light up his face. And he goes, well, I have forever, so I can do so. And he bows. Fleety, Archfey of Eustace at your service. My darling. Um, I feel like Sin very privately is gonna slip like a little piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Can I get an autograph for my niece? She's a huge fan. <laughs> he looks at you and he goes, 
well, of course you can. And he signs this uh, this paper, the Archfey of Eustis, and he there are little paw prints of liz- lizard prints that go all the way across it. And it seems to shimmer with this otherworldly magic so that you can tell that it is not <clears throat> from this world. It is a, a signature of the Eustis lizard. And, <laughs> and when you open it, there's this little puff of uh, of snow that comes out every single time. Um, so, uh, uh, daddy, oh, sorry, Fleety? Yes, um, my love. I, um, I'm not sure whether, I, I, I kind of feel like, um, it feels a little, I, I don't know, dishonest to have you traveling as a dragon. Would you like me like this? And he kind of bites his lip again and looks you up and down. Again, I can be anything you want me to be. It feels more honest. Then this is how I shall stay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, would you like me to? Would you like me to just take to stay away from you for tonight? Perhaps. Yeah, I, I think I I am. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a little. I'm still a little. It's it's a lot. It's a lot to think about. And um, you're so cute when you're flustered. Okay, I'm sorry. I will be over here, not doing anything. Um, <clears throat> how about? And then he turns invisible. You're not sure if he's there or not. Wait, is, do I have a thing? <laughs> are, if you're if you're here, I, that's a. I don't know that that's any better than than dragon. Um, I just want you to be comfortable as he comes out of the dark. <laughs> well, I'm I'm much more comfortable if I know where you are and you're not in a weird different form, and so that I know it's you. It's and... not how rude. <laughs> it is not weird and different. That's just my other form. <laughs> that's what I a... look like. Okay, okay. You. Have I have three of have... them. Okay, you have a point. I am a bunny. I understand that a form maybe a sexy, isn't... beautiful, curvaceous bunny. Oh, okay, okay. This is going a little. A <laughs> All little right, far. I'll go okay. over here. And he goes and sits in the. He goes and sits by a tree and just reclines out. What's his head <clears throat> form? What? What's his third form? He said he has three forms. Oh, would I know this as an expert on <laughs> <laughs> a giant snow dragon made not solid, completely you can like go through him if he wants you to. It's made of a snowstorm. Oh. Oh cool. damn. Wow. It's the essence of blizzards and bad the weather. Blizzard lizard. The blizzard lizard. <laughs> <laughs> and he just for the night he is going to remain calm uh is there anything that you are doing before you go to bed tonight i can tell you from as this is going on you see diana take out another scroll of uh of lesser restoration and cast it on aria who is leaning up against the tree that used to be the portal to uh the umbrafell um the Moros is hovering beside her, speaking to her gently. What do you guys do for the night before you you settle down? I'm worried about the Moros. Me too. Wasn't he going to tell Clover something? Yeah. Yeah. He looks to yes. you and he goes, Will you spend your final night with me? My final night with me. Why is this your final night? What happened? My purpose is fulfilled, little kitty. I am. What purpose is that? To protect Solstice, yeah. It is not fulfilled. We still have protection. Protecting needs to still be done. He, He bows. He goes. There is no more shadow curse. There is no more need for me. And at that, Arya sobs just a little bit. 
and you remember her telling you that you she was friends with the Moros. He would be the one that warns her that people had gone through so she could help them. Hmm. Are are you happy that your purpose is fulfilled? Or are you sad? How do you feel? I will miss my friends. He sits down beside Arya. Spend tonight with me. Of course. Certainly. Someone want to make a fire? Why don't we make some stew? You guys Venison? set up camp. Some Eustace treats. Yes. Some Eustace, and then Eustace, Eustace we go treats hunting. appear out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. We have the Eustace lizard. We don't need to go hunting. I wish I, for you to be I well fed. Back. Throughout the evening, I go back and forth between the Moros and Cappy and Lady Orion, and I just go from one to the other to the other, just comforting and giving, you know, cat cat comfort, basically. As you sleep for the night and you settle down, Sin, you find yourself in a desolate expanse, cloaked in an eerie otherworldly gloom. The silver glow that bathes the landscape is twisted, casting a long malevolent, casting long malevolence, malevolent, god damn it, shadows. Uh, two neon orange pinpricks of light appear in the darkness. And from the shadows emerge Nixaria, draped in tenbrosa robes that seem to be, they seem to absorb the very essence of the light the little light that there is just it anytime anything touches her it immediately evaporates she is the darkness her eyes those orange orbs of abyssal knowledge seem to pierce right through your soul with a haunting intensity she extends her hand not in a gesture of welcome but more of a beckoning gesture of Come to me. What do you do? How? Um, what's the distance between us? Maybe about 40 feet. She's going to walk till she's only like 10 feet. When you get to that 10 foot era place, you hear she looks at you and she smiles and she says, my favorite pet. What do I owe the pleasure of your company? You took something that doesn't belong to you. I'm here to take it back. Child. I took something that does belong to me. And you can't have it back. I need it. I wasn't asking. I was just letting you know as a courtesy. I do like it when you're so full of yourself, really. It's cute, I might say. It would take one to know one. <laughs> oh, darling. You're going places you shouldn't be, you know. That just sounds like an invitation. We'll see you soon. She walks forward and takes her chin a little roughly. She goes, go home, my sweet darling. If you, can if you continue your current path, nothing but the inexorable waits you. Um. See you soon. And she's going to pull her chin away. As you pull your chin away, everything begins to fade to dark, but you hear sweetling. Please. Don't make me hurt you. You already and then you have. have. There's a laugh that echoes through the darkness and you awake in the morning. The morning light shining through the branches a rumbling 
of wind rushing towards you as obsidian, the giant void dragon, lands in your space, turning into a creature that you've not seen before. Scales all up and down his body, but a human form, long tail that swishes strongly behind him. He goes, I felt trouble. And he looks to the Moros. And the Moros is barely a wisp now. He's barely hanging on. You hear the gatekeeper as he looks to Arya. He goes, My purpose has been fulfilled. I dissolve into whispers, leaving echoes of guardianship. A spectral warden now, embraced by the void. Mourn me not, sweet child. And he's gone. And Arya <laughs> sobs. I'll Obsidian looks lap. to you all. You curl up in her lap and she she grabs you and she is just it's heartbreaking. She's lost her, maybe one of the most important people in her life. Obsidian <laughs> looks to you all and he goes if you are to travel into the void, into Umbrafo, ride on my back and I will bring you. You will not make it otherwise. Oh. And that's where we will call the session tonight. Ooh. <sighs> <sighs> GG guys, GG guys, Holy GG. Shit. Very good game. <laughs> it got it. Would, there were so many good moments in that. Yeah. Um, so many, Holy so shit, many good Cappy. moments. God, Cappy's backstory. We got Sin's backstory. We got portions of Clover's like present story with the Moros. We got we got the blood twins going on between Roz and Anemone. <laughs> Fuck, guys, I did not expect to bring out uh, the Yulstice lizard so soon. His form, I did not expect to change that yet. That was oh, going to be in the next man. few. Wow. But you went down, and I was like, what would he do? Mm. Oh, no, you're you're his you're his wifey. He's going to protect uh -oh. you. Oh, wow. Yeah. You, got, you, you got a daddy lizard mm. with it. This whole time, I thought Jeez. that was just a cute little holiday special thing. And <laughs> yeah. this whole time, it, it was Cappy that woke up with Frost initially. Yeah. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. it's always been Cappy. Yeah. It's yeah. always been He's Cappy. Always been he came Cappy. to find her. He came to find her. Dude, fade. Oh, but he didn't man. want to scare her and just be like, you're my wife. He was like, I'll come to you as a cool uh, wizard, so maybe you like me more first. Okay, Hi. so he like I intentionally mean, friend zone himself to try to get close and wait for an emotionally vulnerable time of unconsciousness. This so guy's nice red flags. Guy bullshit. This guy is red yeah. flags. <laughs> He's a fae. He, he does not have fae. the same. Yeah. He does not have no. the same. Like every shit. Oh. every fae is red flags. <laughs> red flags. Yeah, red, red flags. flags. True words. I'm to be so... fair, when he realized that you didn't yes. understand how this worked, he gave you your shit back. Yeah, yeah. he could have yeah. kept yeah. it. Yo, he could have. Yeah. That was actually he very nice have. of him. He was very, very sweet. Yeah. Very, Just very you know, sweet. as long as he's with us, yeah, he I'm gonna off, constantly so. be like, "Oh, hey, here, this is um a Christmas letter for or a Yulsis letter from my niece. <laughs> uh, could you just make sure, just in case? I just have this copy of it in case you don't get you it. You will take every single shop. one of these things. <laughs> I and, yeah, uh, look, Delilah but... is getting the best Yulsis ever. <laughs> She's gonna get a Yulsis that like. It just, it's never happened before. He, uh -huh. You're you are one of Cappy's friends. He's going to personally go to set that shit up. She wants a pony. Damn. She wants. <laughs> yeah, this, a, woman, this, this little girl is waking up with like a, a little pony in her house. Her parents are uh, going to be like, it's a Pegasus. It's not even a pony. This? Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's a Pegasus unicorn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. You're telling him what he, what she wants this whole time. And he's like, if this makes me love her, if this makes her love me, of course I will. My um, sister is going to wake up and be like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Firstly, how do we get this Pegasus unicorn? Like, out Aegis, of the house, did you get a promotion? It to in a second <laughs> He's like, Aegis, Aegis is Came like, the I chimney. did not know. Um, but <laughs> I'm gonna go find some food. <clears throat> so <laughs> the thing slid. that the just the thing that like I keep thinking is that. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. So we came up with the Yulstis lizard. Uh huh. So at some point, either like, so, so, so Fleety, like you knew who Fleety Yeah, I knew. Was, right? Yeah. But like we made Fleety the <clears throat> Yulstis lizard. You, and I, he, I love Here's that. the thing <laughs> he was always going to be an archfey of some sort of dragon. Thing, but then you were like, you'll you were like, we need a holiday. Eulstis came up, and he's like, well, he is the archfey of Eulstis. And <laughs> at some point, you guys will end up in his realm where you get to meet all of Scarlet's dragons <laughs> that live there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> This is why oh I love D and D. All of these little guys. <laughs> oh, all I love of them. This. They'll all, all be them. there. Look at those uh, amazing stickers. I love yeah. those. Which <laughs> everyone should get because I have them and they're amazing. They're I'm really high some. quality. Like they are weatherproof. They're nice. dishwasher safe. Yeah, they're they're like scratch proof. Safe? If you I have them right there, those. I have no, them all hung on my space. wall. It's the brown one. <laughs> get my some. next my next set is coming out I, you can pre-order them but they'll be here mm. next week they're all cookies so i have oreo dragon mm. and frosted circus animal dragon <laughs> for those of you I if you it. know you know we have oatmeal <laughs> raisin and chocolate chip cookie and snickerdoodle oh. Oh, snickerdoodles um, oh, yeah man. And they all okay, look like so... squirrels this time. Okay. Well, as we're <laughs> wrapping up, this is one thing that I've noticed about our group. We uh -huh. have we have the two violent twins when Roz and Anemone are in the same room yep. and there's injustice <laughs> going on. Oh, you just dad. need we're... to push them. You just need to just give them a push. Tiny you, little push. Just, just a little push and they will you get fuck it. Her, you you fuck around you just, yeah, with put, my family and put, uh, you are done. And then if Delphi is with us, Delphi, yeah. If Delphi is with us, if Delphi is with us, we'll follow Delphi. Like we're, we're like, a, we're like, we're, 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 we're the geese formation of, of <laughs> yeah. point and Yeah, you shoot. guys just flying V that shit out, okay? Like <laughs> Delphi is running at top speed, and then behind her are the violence twins, and then behind that are Cappy and uh, freaking. Uh, sin, and then right at the end is like, I'll hit is this cat running after you? Um, no. <laughs> While Barracuda plays oh. in the whole formation. I want that shit in chibi form now. I'm going to find somebody to draw that in chibi anime form now. Oh my god. I want it. I want it. I want it in chibi anime form. I want if it anyone wants to draw that, we would love you forever. Del um. Delfreda Toga. It has to be. <laughs> Listen, Delphine and Toga are Delphine like vines running Delphine, ahead yeah, with Delphine like it's, her underwear. It's just a fig leaf. <laughs> she yeah, does not wear underwear. <laughs> There's a branch in the right, foreground. Right. But I mean, you gotta, you just gotta keep it. it out. Yeah. And it's just, going it's out just blacked out, like you know, yeah. like censored as she runs. I, I now, <laughs> yep, I now have an idea. Yeah, that's it. This is what we're gonna. That have. is what enemies see jumping towards them, just like <laughs> Delphra censored, and they're like, "What the fuck is happening right now?" Um, with like a little white. With, a, her, with her little fox <laughs> spirit going in behind her, like, ah! And then and suddenly by... they just get hit by a freaking Goliath, and then a, a rogue Sweet. just, like, shoots them in the face. And, and then... that is that is what they see. That is how they die. <laughs> we are. This is how you, like, all we need is a point and shoot. We are the point and shoot. Just a little. Just a tad. Bam, bam. Just point us at the problem and we will shoot. That's what yep. I'm hearing. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. You don't have to find out part of fuck around and find out. <laughs> yes. We, we, are. Are. we are. Your group name. You're gonna. We're gonna have to come up a gr with a group name for you. And I am very. Real, I'm very much leaning towards fuck around and find out, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, okay. So. I'm Icy Stars, and I have been your shenanigan sovereign. You can see me here on Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, otherwise, I have TikTok and all of that. Uh, Scarlet. Hi. God, I'm Scarlet. Uh, and you can find me at Scarlet64 on all the things. 
uh my we already talked about this but i'll say it again my new dessert dragons are dropping next week you can pre-order them at scarlet.com that is s-t-x r-l-e-t i should just start calling it sexrelit.com um <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh and after they get here they'll also be on my etsy if you prefer to use etsy uh and i'm really happy to be here and be sin and constantly rolling her eyes and and speaking in the, in this low breathy more serious voice oh. it oh. is much it's so fun <laughs> i get to be a little bitchy uh <laughs> with my nick's uh sin banter it's it's a little fun uh clever uh, hi, I'm Juniper Linen and Spice on TikTok. Um, you can find me here on Saturdays playing Clover and also on Shattered Tabletop Games the first Sunday, first Sunday of the month playing Alien, where I actually have to introduce my new character because my last character died a gruesome death last session. Um, as they, yeah, as so they come, tend to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It was, it was, yeah, it was something. Um, yeah, so come find me on TikTok. I will pass to Star. Hi, I'm Star. You can find me at Star Mama C on TikTok. I am Cappy and I'm here to cry. Aww. And um, <laughs> Jess told me I wouldn't cry and she was wrong. Um, I'm sorry. It wasn't <laughs> supposed to happen tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh, i have a podcast it's called characters without stories and it's uh where i talk to people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet i'm always looking for more people who want to join me um and i have a new episode that came out yesterday um and so i'm going to pass it over to gm of revan hello everybody my name is gm of revan you can call me on uh, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash gm of revan on Tuesdays, um, with my group Strands of Fate, we played D and D Five E. Um, I'm about to bring in some primordial pain to them, quite literally, very soon, and it's going to be glorious. It's going to be fun watching them figure that out, and they're great players. Um, I get to hang out Saturdays with these amazing, incredible people, who are beautiful, lovely, wild, deliciously funny, um, who bring dessert dragons and fleeting frosty daddy dragon i love you very much okay i'll give you what apples that taste good so that you feel better you're so cute but also important. you are a gorgeous mm -hmm. gorgeous little body and yeah. me, i mean dean so i mean conflicted. me i mean i don't know what i am right now but this is giving me vibes <laughs> um <laughs> Who is next? Oh, and Fridays <laughs> I do stuff for God Wars. Um, that's what the next, the new campaign coming up is called God Wars. Uh, you did not go. I believe I'm gonna take it to our our lovely my my twin, my violence twin, my blood twin, my twin, <laughs> Duffra, who is who's kind of like the leader of the violence, who is not here right now. But um, I will give it to my twin. Yes. Hi. <laughs> I'm Katie and Dungeon Mistress Katie and all the things. Uh, you can find me here on Saturdays, obviously, and also here on Tuesdays uh, in Shadowrun State of the Union. And then Wednesdays, in Shadow of Nux, I play a Yellow Ranger. It's very, ex it's all very exciting. Um, I'll get to play a Slayer soon, and then there might be something else in the works that I can't say. And it's really exciting. Um, and yeah, it's all the things. So um, I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jess. AW. Thanks, Daniel, for being Delphra for the night. Yeah. Thank we you, miss Daniel. you, Delphra. <laughs> and thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Dan Daniel. Thank you, we'll Daniel. see you guys later. Bye. Bye. We're done. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Foolish and lost.